If you fought Jake, yeah. you think you handle that? Yeah, I'd beat the fuck out of him right now. <laughs> really? I want blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want blood. Mine or his? I don't give a fuck. I want blood. It really? has got to be blood. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome. Um, we have to get to the bottom of something. There's some drama here on the Flare and Two podcast. Okay, we have mm. a liar in our midst, mm. and mm. I brought mm. someone do here to expose the liar mm. don't do this. because we've been lied to possibly for maybe six months now. Yes, and not only have we been lied to, treacherous, we've been celebrating that fucking liar, mm. and he's wow. been thinking this whole time like I don't know people. In this community, wow. that can give the facts mm. about the shit that you he's been lying about. You said this was a gotcha podcast. No, no, no this no, was no, about no. you. It's, the whole it's gotcha. God. Listen, we got Bradley Martin in the motherfucking hey, building hey, to, hey, expose, hey, baby. <laughs> to expose Mark. Yeah, that's why they Fuck can't. I swear, the email wow. chain and everything was like, "This is what you're coming here for." What, yeah. How are you going to expose yeah. it? What are you exposing me for? No one even you knows know what we're talking the about. Fuck, we're exposing <laughs> you for. This guy has been telling us that he's been taking creatine. She was 18. Wait. He, but, <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? Oh, hey, creatine, not oh, creatine. 18. That's what I said. Very different team. It was Mark. creatine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what I said. He's been saying he's been on creatine. Yes. He he says he put on 20 pounds of muscle with just creatine in a couple months. Do you think that's possible, Bradley Martin? In, in in a couple months. In a couple months. You're an expert. How many how many pounds of muscle? Twenty pounds of muscle. Uh I, I don't think so, man. I mean, he was saying some such shit prior that really <laughs> what, made what me What was be he like, saying? What was he saying? He was what? talking about flicking the needle and all this stuff. Okay. Some shit that you would not know about unless you were like in some illicit use. Why are you sitting <laughs> like that? Why are you doing this? This is how we pose. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? Right? This guy's ridiculous. You're doing the same shit. What do you mean I'm doing the same <laughs> shit? What are you talking about? I'm excited. I'm into the podcast. This I'm trying to expose him. No, this is how bodybuilders sit. You're not a bodybuilder, Mark. Yes, I am. I don't sit like that. Yes, we do. Oh, look at me. No, but you're not like us. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You're oh, different. Bro. Shots We're on different. fire. Wait, wait, wait. How much you weigh? Bro, I'm 250 maybe? 250? 270? Two. Kilo kilograms? I don't know how many. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> what? I don't know exactly. You weigh like one. How tall are you? you oh, he, like he put you in one, bro. <laughs> yeah. He put you in one category. One triple digits, though. Triple digits. Let's go. Yeah, like one eighty four. <laughs> Do you I'm think it's possible, bro. Bradley? Yeah. You you've been around this game a long I've been time. Been around for sure. Some mm. some might say you started the game on YouTube. Mm. Oh, 100%. some might give you that credit. Mm. It's true. Yes. You were the first YouTube Sp fitness. Guy, mm. one of them for sure. The quad father. Instagram, one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. Instagram, yeah. But YouTube, a lot of people credit you. Yeah. For this, yeah. we have a guy in here, Shifty. When he started, when he was younger, he wanted to lose weight because he was a little bit of a puffy kid. Yeah. He is younger already, him. but when he was even younger, he said he started watching your videos, mm. and you inspired him to get that chiseled physique that he has right now. That's amazing. So this is real. <laughs> hmm. I know. We mm. talked to him off, actually offset. Okay. Yeah. And then we said something else. There was yeah. off air yeah. about your fucking what? steroids. I don't take truth. steroids. You're on steroids. I don't take steroids. Tell yes, us the you are. Fucking I'm not. Truth, bro. I'm not on it. You're on then the How do you know bro. those things? Because I my my wife is a nurse. First off, okay. okay so that's okay. okay. Does she so, administer fucking testosterone? <laughs> yes, uh, is no, that what she's doing? No, no, she doesn't. Why would you gain twenty pounds of muscle? Yes, tell us this. And because why would you not include your friends in it? You fucking I snake. I mean, you're include a you fucking guys. snake. Every time we're at the hotel, I tell you to come to the gym. You don't go. No, you don't. Yes, I'm married. I've gained twenty pounds of tits. <laughs> okay, I get twenty pounds of fucking. You've been taking estrogen. Yes, I am. Why are you taking estrogen? It's it Wait, going through on. my urethra every time I fuck my wife. Wait, you, she's you, inserting estrogen yo, in it. You said some shit earlier about okay. taking estrogen. Yes, that's true. What the fuck are you talking it's about? It's a new type of fitness. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Uh, okay, He's go ahead and explain. Soul it. cycle. No, it's true. <laughs> so you talking about taking estrogen? Yes, is a new type of fitness for pecs. Yes. You're making this shit no, up. No, to get pecs, you get take estrogen. Now he's true. trying to throw the scent yeah, off. He's trying now to, he's trying to yeah. act like he doesn't know what he's talking about. So you go, oh, maybe he's not taking. No, it. he's fully capping. No, for I, pecs. I, I, I maybe don't like breast tissue. Uh, yes, exactly. Like gyno. For for pecs. For gyno. gyno. Do you have gyno? You don't have a chest. Let's check. Yeah, look at that. But it's like relax, 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 relax your fuck. I'm just so nervous. Bro, you're, you're, <laughs> relax. I'm just, it's a stranger's touch. Oh my god. Relax your fucking. <laughs> Okay, you don't have gyno. He's, he's clear. Okay. Wait, you could tell just from rubbing like that? Yeah, you can tell if someone has Do it again, do it again. I mean, you might have it over here. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Can you rub doves because 100%? Wait, let me check. Yes, you have, come on, come on, come on, come on, What's come on, 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 come
No. Have you seen him with his shirt off? 100%. Okay. Dude, I get bricked up when I see him with his fucking shirt off. Damn. The guy's 100%. got beautiful tits. <laughs> yeah. Show the tits. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Honestly, listen, he's Rip even the cardigan. He, Rip it open. <laughs> he's a little bit blushing right now, yeah. dude. You like these compliments. 34C. Let's go. Should I cover this? <laughs> <laughs> let's go. He's like, why do you think I got the laptop there? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay. So we do conclude. I'm not on steroids. I just watched Pumping Iron. A good documentary. Would you learn all that from pumping iron? Yes. No. No, no you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, Arnold does that. No. He, just, he takes creatine and caffeine. Arnold Schwartz N word. And he says, you go. You Schwartz Schwartz N -word. N -word. I, don't, I don't like to say it. I don't like to say it on the pod. Okay. But Dude. he says he takes creatine and coffee. And that's, You're, what, he, no, that's he what he does. No. And that's what, that's what I do. And that's how I got he his He never physique. said that. That's how I have his physique. What did he no. say, Bradley? I mean, I think people know that he did. You know, he took steroids. He took steroids. Yeah, absolutely. People knew that. Yeah. I think back then it was different. It was like most people were taking like testosterone, like D-ball. Like what? Testosterone and D-ball. What's D-ball? Mark's testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? Alex, <laughs> Alex, I'm going to need to rely on you. I'm going to need to rely on you to punch him because I'm not close enough. Don't and I don't want to start throwing you're fucking things at I'm going to rip my shorts into jorts, okay? I'm going to get angry. I'm going to go full Hulk on you. Honestly, you have my permission. To just punch him in the side of the head yeah, if he keeps he has, acting up. He has that yeah. roid rage. He might yes. have that roid yeah, rage. Yeah, yeah. Can we look at your back? I want to look at your back. Why? Because you might have some fucking constellations on that thing, dude. <laughs> Let's see if you got some acne. Bro, going I got on. nothing. I'm I'm clean. I can't reach back there, but I shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. This, fuck up. No, no, my last, my, this guy. My last and my in my traps. Full of it. And my wraps. Yeah, I can't. It's hard. Okay. Your okay. It's a lap muscle. Your wraps. Yeah. The wraps. Wrap. Wrapped. Yeah. <laughs> where are those where are those located yeah, on the body? Guys, Under the dude. lats. Under the lats. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a, okay. Yeah, yeah, I never yeah. heard of that muscle. Yeah. Yeah. This guy. <laughs> this guy's full of shit. He's that's full, what you're gonna learn. I think about. he's full of shit. One hundred percent full yeah. of shit. I think he's on testosterone. I think he's on HRT. <laughs> I think you are too. Yeah. Okay. I think you're on GH as well. All right. Gay hormone. <laughs> Have you ever tried that one? Maybe you tried that one a few times. Don't tell them. Don't tell can we? Can we My move on? We this. have a guest here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Jesus. I'm going to talk about man. Bradley Martin. Brad? Yeah. And you're making it about you and your fucking steroid use. Come on, man. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unroll Jesus. your fucking sleeves, dude. Thank yeah, you, thank dude. You. And relax Jesus your fucking Christ. elbows, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is how bodybuilders stay. No, they don't. It's my lats. It's my lats. Relax your elbows. Fuck. It's my lats. Fine. I'll put them down. I'll put them down. No, just. Yeah, no, just really relax them. <laughs> yeah, you can relax them, dude. Oh dude my I God. just did pulls today. Jesus, I just Christ, did pulls. Man. I saw him once doing pull-ups, and I have to. Is this like maybe a workout thing? I he put on that belt, and he was doing pull-ups, but he put on the belt where you could attach more weights to it. Oh yeah, yeah. And then he wrapped one of those magenta like girl exercise weights to the bottom. He couldn't even hook it. It was so, you know the colorful ones. They're yeah. about one pound each, and he yeah. wrapped. He had one single one there, and he was still had a weight belt with a single with a single magenta yeah. colored. Wait. Why were you doing that? Why were you doing that? For warm-up. Warm for warm-up. That was a warm-up. Yeah. What were, what you, were you warming up? Yeah. What, it's a blue. Yeah. Huh? To the blue weight. To the blue one? To the blue. Yeah, exactly. I start on purple and I like go the, to blue. The one down to the five pound? and a half. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you train? Mm -hmm. you work huh? out? Yeah, I did. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. Totally did. Oh, my God. No, you know what's really embarrassing is that I've been working out consistently probably since I'm 18 years old. No results. I don't I'm, know if that's true then. I mean, 100% serious. There's no way that's true. Consistently? Consistently. No results? Impossible. No results. Because what I do is I work out, and then I start to get mm. results, and then I take a little bit well, off. Well, that's not consistently then. But I've been consistently doing that. Oh, okay. So there's <laughs> consistency and inconsistency. I'm yeah. consistently inconsistent. Okay, so On this podcast. The, what's that? On this podcast as well. Like, like, like shows? No, like, uh, like my opinions. Oh, you're inconsistent yeah. with also, your consistency. I got it. What he's trying to do is make me look bad no, 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 right now is, by sharing a video that's embarrassing. This is footage from one of Andrew's recent uh, tra uh, training sessions. Wait I'm a, a trainer for Peloton, and I was working on a new exercise. That's me on the far treadmill. That's so my that's wife on the Andrew, closer that's one. That's his lovely wife, and this okay. is the two of them working out. All right. Okay. So, so, we got them now training. Okay, look. Wow. What? This is okay. Oh shit! Is this is a to... training exercise for Peloton. It's there were kids that were wow. chewed up she, by a Peloton oh, wow. before. She knew you needed love. Yeah, <laughs> but this is how you're supposed to treat people. This was planned. Wow. This was all planned. I don't Bradley. think it's planned. No, it was planned. Nah. No, this is a prank video. You could... This is a planned thing. And look mm. how she comes to me. We all know how to play our role. She holds me. No, I think the you camera just pushes in randomly. You seem genuinely like distraught that you hurt yourself in that situation. Honestly, can I be honest, honest with you? When I watch the video now, it doesn't do it justice. 
because I thought I hit that back wall at 50 miles per hour. Wow. Yeah, you barely <laughs> thought, hit it. I didn't I think it was even more hit. about embarrassment. You were just more embarrassed. In front of my wife? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would have been too. What What you guys don't know is I embarrassed myself about 30 minutes before with my wife. What do you mean? What did you do? Uh huh. I don't know. <laughs> Something else? Well, I don't know. I, know. I said I'm sorry a lot. I know that. <laughs> I know I said I'm sorry. I know I said I'm sorry. And I, I don't normally of... do this. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't no, normally. normally. It's longer. It lasts longer than this. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stop with the estrogen, man. You Yo, I need to get on estrogen, dude. Yeah. No, no. no that yeah. Estrogen no. makes you last longer it's, in bed because you got true. a pussy. That's true. <laughs> it makes you grow a pussy, no. and that makes you last the longest, yes. bro. No, bro. Stop you acting like you don't know about estrogen, bro. You don't know about estrogen. You know this, Brad. Holy shit. You are. You could grow a fat Cunt. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude, dude. If you get on enough Anavar and estrogen, you yes. get some fat pussy Wait, lips, Wait, minus dude. Anavar. Minus Anavar. Why? Yeah. What's wrong with Anavar? Anavar is not... It's going to actually make it harder for the estrogen. So no, like, no, yeah, no, 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 no you don't take estrogen. I do take estrogen. Oh, no, you don't. Yes, we're all in estrogen, bro. Bro, shut the fuck we're up. No, yes, you're not. we are, yes, dude. dude. This we're is an estrogen, estrogen podcast, dude. <laughs> yes. What? Yes, you didn't know this? Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't know, that. Bro. I didn't know what I was coming into. What do you think you're drinking? I mean, I that's not Casamigas. Casamiga. Hey. Oh my god, dude. Right, Straight Holy up shit. estrogen. I mean, I, I kind of got it because you know when he walked me in, it was a little like. And he's he's a little vibes, off, right? I was like, okay, it's different. What do you think when you meant like that? What do you think? I was like, this is, this is unique. He's, like he's a little soft and he smokes cocks, right? Like I mean, it's <laughs> possible. It's like I'm not. It's not judging. It's like it, it is what There's it is. There's no judgment. Dude. Zero judgment. Cleans yeah. up in the pussy department. Amazing. <laughs> Through rape. Okay. That's, wow. That's you can't, uh, that's, you can't be accusing people of rape. That's no <laughs> good, dude. I mean, cleaning up that way is not. That's a different type of clean. I don't know if that's a clean, but you really want to be. Did you tell uh, him his real? Did you tell you his real name? Mm. He's, he's. It's French. Not, not fully. Jean Luc. Brunel. 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 I think that was it. Brunel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's the, the FC associate that Ooh. just hung themselves in the jail. And, uh, Yo, so yeah, you see this shit. It's like, oh, it's an accident. Mm -hmm. What the fuck, dude? Mm -hmm. Like, how many times can they pull that shit on us? Everyone's like, oh, my God, believe We don't it. care anymore. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that's the world. That's a crazy man. thing. It's fucking insane. Yeah. What is going on in your world, Brad? Dude, <laughs> I don't know, man. Brad, what's going on in your world? I, I'm try Listen, I'm here right now. I'm in the moment. I'm can I be honest out. with you, dude? Go ahead, yeah. I appreciate. I was that. most impressed by you when you dunked off the vert. Which mm. one? I which didn't time? believe. Which, one? Which, which, one? which time, bro? I yeah. don't know what it was. I think you were wearing those same sweatpants. We're gonna get you another pair. Yeah, we're gonna get you another <laughs> pair. Of pants. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, no, this no, podcast, no. we're gonna get you a different He's pair of pants. Nice, okay, we're gonna do it. They were different, but I know what you're talking but about. I, I, literally, because obviously I was familiar with you from the internet, culture, etc. Right, right. And someone showed me this video. And or it popped up maybe on my fear or something like that. And I was like, there's no fucking way. Yeah. There's no way. Cause how much do you weigh? About 260. 260. Yeah. Okay. At that time I was 265. This one? This is yeah, fucking yeah. This crazy. Is staple, this is a staple center. Jesus. And that is it. crazy. Yes. And yeah. then I was talking to Muscle Doc, you know, Jordan. Yeah. And he goes, uh, he says this, and you know, Jordan doesn't mince words. He's like, you're a freak athlete for your size. Yeah, it's that's what he said. He goes, you're a, he's a free. And this guy works with NFL guys. That's what he does for a living. Yeah. He works with freak athletes. Yeah, he goes dope. for that guy's size. He's a freak athlete. That's amazing. Why are you not? Why are you not in the NFL? I don't know, man. I got I mean, I I never trained for it. Obviously, I don't I couldn't say I have the same skill set as someone who's in the NFL. Like, I mean, could I have tried to probably? But it's like it was all kind of after the fact for me. I got so caught up in social media that it was like, this is just what I do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So like I I hear all the time and like I, it's like it sucks because I'm like damn should I have done that but then a part of me is like I love what I'm doing now. Well yeah you are a professional athlete, in a in a way I guess. No no no, no. I thought about this. Okay. Because my initial thought was like why the fuck would this guy work out that much if he's not a professional athlete and then I was like oh he probably makes more money than most professional athletes so you are a professional athlete. Oh yeah yeah it's cool. Isn't that weird to think about? Yeah. Like you putting the time into your body is no different than. One of these professional athletes putting the time into their body. Yeah, it's just a different, you know, there's a different thing. I mean, the whole social media thing is so still brand new. So it was like, I, I don't know. I Obviously, I, I can't relate myself to like, oh, this is like a, I'm like an NFL linebacker or some shit. Because like, I'm not running drills. I'm not doing that stuff. I do train every single day, no matter what. I try to, no matter yeah. what. Um, You're not getting CTE. No, I'm not getting none of that. Yeah. But, um, which is also another fucking crazy topic. But 
Yeah, I mean, this whole internet shit just changed the world drastically yeah. in so many ways, which in so many negative ways as well. Like I saw the, the thing you were talking about, um, TikTok and like how they push the bullshit. Oh, yeah. I saw that clip. That clip was like, I think it went pretty viral, no? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like it's, we just live in a weird world now where like shit is that at once we didn't think was possible. is just possible. now. Yeah. You know what's funny about that clip? I put that out as a way to celebrate two million followers on TikTok. So it, like I put it out like TikTok's lit and then like all these like politicians and shit and, like people from the Pentagon, like some dude from the Pentagon just reposted it the other day. Be like, yeah, this is what we're worried about. And I was like, no, nah, I'm popping. Yo, what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> no, I mean, that clip went everywhere. But like, it's like fucking true The guy true, who's like the, 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 the chief, um, I don't know, officer of, of, of Space Force. Like what? some high... Pe- Pentagon dude. He reposted it? Yeah. Oh, and what, he was his, like, nah, this TikTok? is all right. This is the thing that's going on. I, I mean, he made that shit up. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, I don't it. know if there's any facts. I read an article. <laughs> <laughs> but it is what's happening, though. It's like, yeah. it, it is like what's actually happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Wow, Damn. dude. Yo, yeah. you do kind of work out. Yeah. Bro, you do kind of work out. Why you oh. say kind of, son? Why you say kind of? Because it's like a little bit. I work a little. We're all on gen, bro. That's what it is. I've. I didn't know Did that. Did you hear what you just said? Yeah. We're on gen. What is that? Gen estrogen. Oh, is no. that the nickname it's, for it? That's what we call it. You yeah, don't just in, take estrogen. Oh, yes. It doesn't get you jacked, bro. It doesn't um, do that. Yeah, no. I you don't, are, you, I don't you, you actually out. are more muscular than I thought. I'm not even going to <laughs> You think he's natural? Get better you think than he's that. natural he's or not? soft forever. No, he's 100% natural. I'm natty. Yeah, he's natural. I'm 100% natty. Except for the Cialis and shit. Except for Cialis. I love some Cialis, dude. Good, good. Or Blue Chew. That's who's sponsoring us. Really? Yeah, hundred oh, percent. You got the chew oh, yeah. or what? I mean, I've I've had it. You partake? I do. Oh yeah. See, Cialis is amazing. The what best. the fuck? It's incredible. The best. Yeah. But I but I get ornery sometimes. You get what? Ornery. I don't know if that's a real thing from Cialis. If my wife disagrees with me, okay, this is it's like a, a whole, problem. But that's like a whole different <laughs> reason. Like it doesn't have nothing to do with the Cialis. I blame Cialis. I don't think it's the Cialis. I think it is. I, do you have a therapist? No. <laughs> Well, I'm here to help. Big news. The infamous tour. We are coming to Toronto. That's right. We'll be there the 4th and the 5th. It's open. We're probably going to be the first shows in the city since it's open. So it's going to be absolutely crazy. We'll see you for those three shows up there. Toronto, I cannot fucking wait. Uh, we are also coming to Birmingham. Okay. New Orleans, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Montreal, New York City. Okay, and of course, Vancouver and Atlantic City, New Jersey. Go to theandrewschultz.com right now. Get all those tickets before they're gone. Now let's get back to the show. Well, I'm here to help. Okay, well, can I talk to you about it? Yeah, let's talk. Sometimes I'll say something, and then my wife will think that I need a devil's advocate opinion instead of just fucking agreeing with me. Well, I, I get know, upset. I don't know if you need the devil's advocate opinion. I think you just, you just need to like calm down a little bit. Exactly. No, you though. Oh yeah, you bring it down a little oh, bit. I need to chill out. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But have you guys ever had like a real fight with your with your significant other? Absolutely. Fully hard. <laughs> no, <laughs> that shit is crazy. Yeah. Because yeah. so you're like erect. Yeah. You're like fucking. Yeah. Because so she and but she doesn't know that I got the Cialis. So she's like, does he like fighting? Like this guy's oh, toxic. Like a, uh, oh shit. Yeah. It's like a little she weird. She thinks I'm getting bricked up off of like, uh, like toxicity. He, so she does she keep like egging it on? Is she Hell, get, probably. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a vicious cycle. It is. You know? Yeah. And you we should, should we should probably end it. No, no, definitely not end it. You, you're married. You, yeah, you're right. You're, you're right. Gonna you're right, right. You're yeah, going yeah. gonna to talk. You're going to conversate through it. Yeah, we got to do that. I feel this is where I'm at. Yep. And then you figure it out. You, you know? 100%. Get over those humps and onto the promised land. And onto the promised land. Exactly. <laughs> dude, you should be a life coach, bro. Hell dude. yeah, dude. You I should, do, man. You I might save my marriage, bro. Yeah, I... That's why I came here. <laughs> no, no, seriously. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You they got, emailed you. They emailed me <laughs> for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You emailed me for that. For that. Yeah, yeah. So like, uh, it's just like a whole thing going on. So yeah. basically, it's Brad is here to save the pod, to save our lives, wow. save our families, to save all of their salaries as well. Hell Holy yeah, shit! Yes. Yeah, I am a fucking. It's a big deal. This is a good guy. Yeah, I'm here to help you. Okay. Um, serious amazing. question. Serious Go question. Ahead. Yeah, hit me. You like chicks? Love them. Do you have a girl? I do. Oh, how long? This, <laughs> this, I kind of, uh, hmm. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, That's an easy question. That's an easy on, question. For, for, for time. For time? Yes. Yeah, because like when we yep. first met, it was like, like kind of rocky. 
What does like Rocky that. mean? Like it was unsure, uncertainty. Why? Because you were on Cialis and getting fucking pissed? Yeah. No, I was. I he never made, he had was that rocking. problem. He was I never rocking. had that problem. You were a little bit rocked up. <laughs> I dude. mean, I get on it, but I don't get like you on it. Right, right, but, right. But, you know, it's like, you know, where people have no life, you're not uncertain, and then you meet and you're like, I don't know. It's like kind of, it's uncertain. Right. So then I don't know. I can't say exactly how long, right? Mm hmm. Now, yeah. now, uncertain because you have relationship issues? For sure. Big time. Big time. Why? Uh, my fucking childhood, man. What my happened? Past. And but I, I, I don't like to just blame it on us. I lost my father when I was six years old. That's tough. My father hung abandoned himself. Abandonment yeah. issue. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Hung himself. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. When you were that's, six, you found yeah. him. Well, I don't gonna not gonna talk about. Okay, it. Okay, that's yeah. fine. But Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So then that's gonna obviously inform your relationships. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. I'm so sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm not trying to get all, oh shit. No, it's okay. We can be serious uh, too. But yeah, man. But that's why I think that's why it made me like a psychopath in the gym. Mm. So you found a way that you could funnel all of that energy. Yeah. And maybe also. It was, a, it was, it was all for avoidance. Like yes. to avoid and you, to feel like I was good enough. Because my thoughts as I got older was like, why, why did this happen to me? Why did my father leave me? All that stuff when I was yeah, young. Yeah, you think it's about you. Exactly. We all do that. We like blame ourselves for these did things. Did they email you to yeah. do this with me? Mm -hmm. 100%. Fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, therapy no. for everyone. Yeah, wow. we, everybody's going through it. We're here actually. We got emailed by your buddy right there. Fuck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we got emailed it, by man. your buddy. This is an and we got And it. we're like, we're going to cure every issue. Dude, this is amazing. Can I tell you something? I was literally talking to Mark about this earlier. This is, and this is what happens as an adult. How old are you? 32. 32. As an adult, I feel like we realize, and I, like I'm experiencing this with my own fucking family, that like literally everybody, our whole families are, are suffering from mental illness. Yeah. And if we didn't, like I didn't realize it as a kid, but yeah. my mom is fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. Like bona fide fucking crazy. Yeah. And I'm just like, these are the people that made me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And we are the product of this environment that we're in. And full, and then we're questioning, and I'm like, oh, why do I have these little idiosyncrasies about myself? Why am yeah. I this way in relationships, or this way with friends, or this way even with business? Like, where does my like obsession come with? And it's like that shit is all baked in. Yeah. When we're fucking kids. What, what I've always found interesting is that, like, yeah, we we look. I remember being very young and looking at 30 year olds, like how old I am right yeah. now, and being like, oh, they got it figured out. No. So I'm listening to them, and I'm 30 now. I'm like, yo, I don't, I don't know shit. No, like, now you just start. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, you, now I'm now starting to figure it out. Now you start, and also like that is something that that's a luxury that comes with some success and money. Yeah, like you make a little money of some success, you actually get to like take your foot off the gas for a second. You go, what about me? Why do I feel this way? Yeah. When you're living fucking paycheck to paycheck, you don't have the luxury to go. Yeah, I'm depressed. Yeah. Get your depressed ass to work. Yeah, you know, interesting. You can't avoid shit as easily now. Yeah, you're forced to it's, face it's it. Crazy. Hmm. What the fuck, man. Yes, yes. Okay, so relationship. So there you put this girl. A little bit rough in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Uncertainty. You were worried about her leaving you, you leaving her, afraid of uh, getting into something too serious, getting hurt? Yeah, I've always had issues with that. Like, I, I dated a girl, I mean, prior to the girl that I'm dating now, but I dated a girl for eight years. Okay. Very, like, turbulent relationship. Um, and it was because prior to that relationship, I had just got out of a relationship with a girl that, like, you know, it was like my, when I was like, it was like my early twenties and I was like, oh, I love this girl. Yeah, my, yeah. my first taste of like, oh, I love someone. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she like completely ripped my heart out. Why? She was probably still dealing with an ex, dealing with her old, like, you know how people, it's always that kind of shit where like, they're kind of still dealing with some shit. And then yeah. they kind of give you all these other reasons why, like, it's not working. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, this mm. isn't like, I was, I was a trainer at the time and I trained a bunch of clients that were like model chicks. Right. You see where I'm going with this? So she was like. She was like, yo, you're, you're fucking these girls. And I was like, Crazy I was never jealous. fucking these girls. Yes. But, but, but I think it was just for avoidance. She just was trying to figure out ways to get away from it. And then anyways, my last client was a gay dude. She's like, you're fucking this gay dude. No. Yes. Everything. And Not I was like, whoa. what are you talking? I remember calling my mom like this. Were you? Is no, dude. I just <laughs> no. have to ask. Yeah, of course. Go that ahead. That hits, bro. It's different. <laughs> bro. It's a little different. I know. But no, none of this was true. So I'm like calling my mom crying like she wants to break up and say, this is my early 20s, right? And then I get out of this relationship and I'm like, dude, I felt so taken advantage of because I, I changed my whole life for this for person. person. I, I got rid of all these clients. I got rid of all this money. I got rid of all these blessings. I changed everything in my life. And then I was still left with nothing. Nothing. Mm. And so then I was like, yo, fuck bitches. Yep. Fuck people. Yep. Fuck everyone. I'm taking advantage of everyone, everything because I felt so taken advantage yep. of. 
And then I met the girl that I dated for eight years. Mm. They're like, two years in, I was like, whoa, I really love this chick, but it was way too late. Mm. Way too late. Because you were fucked up. Yeah, for sure. And she had some shit going on, but like, yeah, I brought in all that, all that like insecurity. Every relationship is a reflection of the last. And then I get in it and I'm trying to play like one foot in, one foot out just so like I'd be protected. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to protect myself. Yeah, yeah. You've got the, (laughs) you've got the shield up. Yeah. But now you can't build a real bond because no. you got the fucking shield up. You know what's crazy is like when a girl probably looks at you, they're like, fuck, boy, this guy's in the gym. He's fucking shredded. He's partying. He's doing all this stuff. But I bet earlier in your life you were like clingy to the girl. Yeah, 100 percent. So early 20s for sure. But she's got that insecurity like, oh, this is just a guy. He's like on the scene. He's got a million followers on Instagram. But back, then, but, the hold on, but, but back then that shit didn't exist, bro. Like when I was doing this in the beginning, it was like on the come up. This is like back 2011, 2012. It was Mm, brand new. mm. So there was no, the girl wasn't looking at me like that. She just had her own whatever traumas and issues in her life. Yeah. And when I met that girl that I dated for eight years, that was during my whole come up. Mm. So she didn't have that perspective like that. But along the way, it did start to complicate things because I played that one foot in, one foot out, trying to flirt with other girls, trying to be like, I could be here. If you hurt me, I'll be there. Because you're just looking for someone to secure yourself. Like exactly. if this girl leaves me, I need a... And that was my problem. Yeah, And then, yeah, and then yeah. it was, it caused enough, you know, issue there. And then I started getting more popular and then I started involving more women into my content and stuff that I was doing. Yeah, and then it yeah. just made the whole thing way worse. Yeah, you need a crazy secure chick yeah. to put up with that. Yeah. Because any girl... And this was a girl who was not in social media at all. She was like a not involved... Best. Amazing. Yeah. Like, it's like how do you My wife find don't that? want nothing to do with that shit. Like, you fucking is, won. I got super lucky. You got a W, bro. Super lucky. Congratulations. Super lucky. 100%. What? Yeah. I, where do you find them? Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. That's a great question. Where the fuck do you find them? They find him. They find you. Damn. They find you. This one right now, she on uh, social media? A bit, yeah. Can we look at her? I'm no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. Jesus. No, Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> but do you have to negotiate that stuff? Like, is it because you're yeah, a public bro. figure and the DMs are probably crazy, right? Yeah. Most Bullsex. dudes, though, my DMs, I ain't gonna lie. There's no shorties. There are, there are, there are a few. There's shorties shooting shots. There are, like sit on my face or I want to sit on your face type shit. Really? Sit on my face. Sit is on way my more face fire. is no, no. wild. That's that would be fire. wild, but no, it's the other two. I want to see the but sit on my the guys face. saying sit on my face. Oh, wait, gay guys are coming after. Of Tons, course. bro. Tons. How much have they offered? I, bro, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't got to that. You've never got a big offer from like some Saudi Arabian prince? I never got, nah, I never got you that. You never deep. got the shit on the glass table? No, I never got. I know about that shit happening though, but Talk I never got me. that. I never got that deep. Why? Because you know that? girls that had that happen? Oh, yeah. Talk to me. No, you want to know about yes, that? Yes, yes, No, yes, 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 that's yes, fuck. That's their business. Yes, yes, I can't. Yes, yes. Wait, wait, I'll tell you do. all about it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wait no. a minute. Tell me, tell me, tell no, me. Tell no, that's no, fucked up. No, but no that's names, real. but tell the story. That's real, though, right? Like, people no, girl, think that we're being hyperbolic. That's a real thing that no, happens, No, no, girls right? really go out, like, on yachts and get shit on. Yeah. Like, 100%. Okay, that's you're great. you're you're in. You're <laughs> the Hey, co- just for that. 100%. Just for that. And then he's like, okay, that's I'm it. I'm done. He, that's all like, I want. Like, he didn't want to fuck the girl because he's already done it so many. Like, so many. Yeah. He just wanted that to be like, I did that. It's and a power he, move. I it, can make you shit on a glass table. That's it. Yeah. And, just and you know what? Call me. Yeah, I will, I will fucking, I will, yo, yo, I'll do it. Shit on a glass table and for you're in a cup, Dubai? For like a mil or a couple mil? Son, like, yo, couple? Sh- yeah. You're 100 thousand. You did 20 thousand. <laughs> yes. 100 thousand. Floppy first class on the Etihad. Oh my God. Yeah. Dubai? Yeah, are you kidding on me? Emirates? Or Emirates, oh, whatever. That's fire. Hell that, have yeah. Have you been on Emirates first class? No, no. Crazy. Oh my God. It's like, yeah. It's like, it's Wait, like a. You fuck. went out there? Wait a sec. Wait, 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 I went there for something else. I went there for something else. Bradley. I went there for something else. What'd you go there for? To film content. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. But it wasn't that kind of, it wasn't hey, that kind of content. Brad, don't play with me. It wasn't that kind of content. What kind of content was it? It was workout shit. 100%. I promise. Did they make you squat first? Yeah. I did some squats, but they didn't make me do anything. <laughs> yeah. No one made me do you anything. Just said I workout up. shit. Like, you did <laughs> say workout <laughs> shit. I mean, Brad. I probably shit a few times when I was there, but it wasn't anything to do with anything else. <laughs> okay. Just okay. saying, I was All shitting right. in bathrooms. That like, you normal. know. That you know. I don't know. Maybe you know what was, they got in that bathroom? Maybe they were fucking, who knows, dude? Maybe I'm somewhere on an OnlyFans thing. I don't know. There's probably a bunch of dudes trapped up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're a dumbass. Yo, that's so good. You're a fucking idiot, bro. Oh, I love this shit. This is a dope okay, podcast. Okay, okay, oh, okay. This podcast okay, lit. okay. Of, because you're, you're the interesting cross-section between the workout community and the YouTube, like, yeah, influencer yeah, yeah. community. Yeah. Of the girls that we see, you don't have to name names, but okay. of, the, of the girls that we see, like, these, like, famous kind of, like, influencer chicks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
How many of them are getting paid to get their shit cracked open and cleaned out? Why do you say and cleaned Man. out? And cleaned out. Just, just out of curiosity. You gotta clean. It's crazy because like I don't even, I think some of them just do it like not even so much to get paid. Like some do it because it's like they just want to. What do you mean by that? I just know a few people who like, have cleaned out a few and there was no money involved. Wait, so they just go, go fly out there. I'm oh, talking you, about the girls. Oh, you're talking about Dubai shit. No, no, not even Dubai, but just like how many of these girls that we see, right? Because what I'll give you is another scenario. Another friend of mine won't say his name, but he basically was like, yo, there's a billionaire like service. And like, if you're trying to smash something and you're a billionaire, there are these girls that will do it. But these girls are like celebrities. Yeah, I see what you're like, saying. Like famous. And yeah. this is only for like the Billy Club, but we're talking about Victoria's Secret models, not the one... Not that one. <laughs> Not that, Not which, that which one. Which one are we? You which know. One are, uh, yeah, you know. I think we're on the same page, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, but like. <laughs> but other ones. But other ones. Got it. Okay. And so so, so my buddy told me about this, and I was like, that's a, like a real thing? He goes, yeah. And I'm like, why do the girls do it? And he goes, the money's just too crazy to not do it. And low key, those girls, if they're single, they're probably going to be fucking guys like this anyway. We're not yeah. talking about scumbag like losers. We're talking about like successful billionaire business people like that we all know. Yeah. And that person will probably stay quiet. So it's and just so thing. everybody's quiet. So I'm wondering how many of these influencer chicks that we think they're making all their money selling fit tea, how many of them are out there selling Bro, cooch? I mean, I feel like they wouldn't even want to tell me. I think I probably know like two who does who do stuff like that. And they talk about it? I mean, like reluctantly. But what do you say? Well, you're just like, yo, just be honest. Why were you in Montana? Uh, Montana? I mean, they're just trying to get a bag. I don't even blame them. You don't, right? I don't blame them, man. Would you do it? Would I do it? Super hot chick. Queen of England goes, listen, cure me of COVID. Cure me of COVID. <laughs> cure, me of, cure me of COVID. Cure me of COVID. What I do? It? I mean, like, what's the bag like? 250. Cure me of COVID. 250? Yeah, you got to go down on her. Suck it out. Oh, man. <laughs> suck the COVID out. You got to oh, suck no. the COVID out of the Queen of England. I mean, I feel like I do it just for the story. Yeah. I don't even need a 250. Just the story's lit. <laughs> like you could have got the 250, Brad. Yeah. I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. So you would do it 100%. Fuck it. Would you do it? Yes. Yeah. It's like, yes. Would you do it for the 250 or would you do it for just a story? No, I'd need the 250 because that pussy probably tastes like parchment. For me, it's the 250 <laughs> would be parchment. <laughs> yeah. The 250 be for the travel time. Like, I don't like the whole, I hate that shit. <laughs> don't, don't waste these days. Yeah. I hate the whole, like, you know, like there might be a one layover, oh, some yeah, like a connecting yeah, flight. Yeah, yeah. I hate that shit. Can't do it. I hate it, dude. I literally won't fly somewhere if it's just like a layover. Why? I just don't. I just, I hate, I hate, like, I love being here and I love yeah. doing this. And you I took it, red eye. I was like, I this did. guy's wild. And I love meeting you and everyone here. You guys are dope as fuck. I just hate the process, like, prior to the plane and then getting off the plane and mm. then the whole, like, put the mask on, all this fucking bullshit. It's like, yeah. fuck off. Yeah. I just don't like that. It's, I didn't like it prior to all this shit and yeah. it just got a hundred times worse. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we're done with the mask shit. Thank God. I mean, you're bro. in LA, so it's a little bit different, yeah, but it's the, it's the king of that shit. Yeah. It's like where they're like, Ugh. All about it. Yeah, it's like they live and die for that shit. It's crazy. Are in your gym, is it rules? Oh, no. In my gym, we, from the very beginning, we stayed open when we weren't supposed to. Which, by the way... Mm. What? They dismissed the case. Hey. Hey. Yes. Hey. Dismissed the go. case. There you go. But it's a little frustrating because it's like... Uh, imagine all the other people, gym owners or business owners that closed down their business because yeah. like they had to. Yeah. And I was like, fuck you, I'm not closing. Yep. And then I get to the end of the line, they're like, yo, let's forget about it. Wow. So it's like, what about all those motherfuckers' money, man? What about the livelihoods of all those other people? Because I don't think that they have- I could stand up and say, fuck you, I'm not doing that. Because you I got know bread from other places, too. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, they couldn't take the risk. And then I think they didn't actually have legal recourse to shut down no, businesses. There yeah. was literally no actual sign. I was the whole time, I'm like, you. this is the craziest thing. Yeah. One of the first attorneys I got with, I Brad, swear to God- you're great, man. Oh, I appreciate it, man. I'm so true one, here. One of the first attorneys I got with was, tro was like- like Trump trying to scare oh, them. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say Rudy Giuliani. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> was trying to scare me, bro. It was like trying to be like, you got to submit. You got to close your business. They're going to shut you down. They're going to take your business. They're going to throw you in jail. I was like, do it. Throw me in fucking jail. You tell me the gym can't be open. Throw me in jail. Mm. Because to me, it was greater than that. Remember I told you earlier about my father? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing was like, I couldn't take that away from a 16-year-old, 17-year-old yeah. kid that I knew I was. Yeah, Just because yeah. I'm like, the easier route would have been for me to be like, let me close this down. I could save lawyer fees. I could save fines. Yeah. And I said, fuck it. I spent tons of money in fucking lawyer fees yeah. to get to the end for them to be like, you're right. We actually didn't have anything. Sorry. 
Wow. Mm. Wow. Which is crazy, bro. You got to think how fucking crazy that is. But that is an interesting, like, that is an interesting way to look at it for you. For you, it wasn't about, like, I'm fighting the government mandates. It's like, I'm looking out for that kid who might be going through what I went through at that Absolutely. age. And it's not only kids. It's like, people don't realize the it's mental everywhere. health shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, this is the fucked up thing about the whole thing. I don't like talking about this much because it gets me really but fucking fired up. It, bro. Talk yeah, about I'm going to do it right Bring now. Because I'm table, like, too. It pisses me the fuck <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear to God, because like yeah. during that time, they're just like, nothing else matters. This is the only thing that matters. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. a motherfucker killing themselves doesn't right? matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Suicide yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah, matter. Yeah, 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 fuck yeah. that. Those rates are going crazy. Yeah. Don't look at that. Yeah, 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 Don't look yeah, at yeah. that. There's only one way you're not allowed crazy. to die. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, like yeah. it's only COVID's killing people now. Yeah, Suicide yeah. ain't killing people. Yeah. Even though it's just going skyrocketing. And then you think about like all the other shit, like someone paying medical bills, like to to, to like to to feed their family, and they're paying these bills. Like who knows? Some kid might have cancer in this guy's yep. family, and they're like, close on your fucking business. Yeah, can't pay for that. Yeah, and it's like so that way. That's so we're just saying that's not important. Yep. We're saying this is essential, and that's not essential. It's like yo, someone's yeah. fucking livelihood is essential. It's almost like mm. um, they Fuck. knew that they were their reelection was based on reducing COVID deaths, and only those deaths. Bro, it's fucking insane. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like if if they reduce mental health deaths, they don't get reelected. But if no. they kept them COVID deaths down. Because they made the whole hurrah. Oh, this is, oh, we're going to fight this shit. Yeah, and then look at yeah. this shit now. And it's like, yeah. bro, it's crazy. Like, yeah. I was fighting this whole thing and I'm like looking at it. Costco right down the street from my gym, Wide fully open. open. Wide open. The, the place where they sell the food, fully open. Yeah. But the mom and pop's restaurant look exactly like the place where they sell the food. Yeah, yeah. Can't be fucking open. Dude, that get the fuck out of here. You can't say yeah. these are the same. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you can't see the problem with that, like, fuck how you believe about the mask or this or that, the yeah. COVID shit. It's all, fuck It's not all even that. political at that point. No, yeah, it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, literally yeah. like you can look at it for exactly what it is and be like, that's just not fucking right. That's why I get the parents that are upset about their kids wearing the masks. Like, it's like, you're going out to dinner. Those same kids are going to sit down in the cafeteria and not wear the mask. Bro, why can't they just sit? The same kids in the cafeteria room don't wear the mask. Well, the same parents are in the club and it's all good <laughs> yeah, and yeah, the mask are off. Yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck? Are you, it's like, it's the whole yeah. thing's fucked. Yeah, There's yeah. no rhyme or reason to this shit. Yeah, They're just yeah. like, yo, here, there, here, there. Okay, there. Yeah. It's like, go fuck yourself. Listen to what yeah. we said, though. And I get it in the beginning, like creating these rules because we don't of know course. what the fuck is going on. Of course. But two years later, yeah, and then, and then all, of a sudden, all of a sudden they're yeah. like, oh, that exercise and shit's important. You guys should go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Yeah. What the fuck? I've been saying this from day one. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? So, so did your business do better because of that? Were people like super grateful? Like, So yeah, during COVID, of course, like, so we had to keep, we, we had to put like gasoline and generators to turn our lights because the no. city, bro, listen to this. Let me tell you this for, let yeah. me tell you this story. Okay. Yeah. Imagine a fucking city. They go, yo, you got to turn your lights off because you're operating. We're like, all right. Well, oh, they can can't. look at your electric hold bill on, and tell. No, 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 no. This is better. This okay. is better. They knew, they knew I was operating because I'm on social media. Right, There's right, so right. many levels to this shit that are, is interesting, right? Okay. So number one, they, the, my visibility is massive because like the whole social media shit. So they can go, they're showing up to my gym every day. So I'm going to get to two things here. One thing, there's a gym right down the street and there's a gym right up the street. How many counts do you think I had of 8.77B, which was like, you didn't listen to what the fuck we said order, right? This is a real thing in California. Did I have versus those other two gyms the same exact time operating the same exact way and actually bigger spaces? Mm. How many counts do you think they had up the street, down the street and me? Uh, what is it? There was one up the street <laughs> and you there had... was eight down the street and, and there's 66 in mine. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're driving past these gyms every day and you're going, that's, you know, that. And I'm no. like, you guys... So anyways, listen. This is celebrity shit. Like, they know yeah. you so they can clip you. Yeah, and they yeah. can see my story every day, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm not yeah. there doing what they say I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Okay? But here's the deal with the, the lights. This is the craziest thing with the lights. And mind you, I had some guys coming into my gym who were, like, health officials. I'm not going to say this guy's name, but he was one of the health officials. And he comes in, like, w dresses like a police officer with a gun. And he's like, you guys got to shut down. We're like, what the fuck? And I have, I have a lot of, like, police officers who go to my gym, and they're like, yo, that guy can't be in here dressed like that he can't be in here with a gun and like a all this fucking crazy shit so anyways the first time they shut my lights off they hit the switch in the back we're like yeah i'll bet yeah okay we'll turn that we'll, and then we just turn it back on right the second time they shut the lights off they go through the city and there's a back door because my my you know the landlord has the whole the whole unit oh, they shut you off with the, the so listen they shut us off <laughs> at the lights in you know the big building yeah, yeah and they put a lock on our shit shut it off put a lock right yeah yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, fuck. Okay. So we operated for three months, just generated. We put like construction lights, you know, like a construction light set up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Generate for, we put some speakers for the music. So yeah. nighttime, it was like a fucking club in there. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, but yeah. here's the thing. Imagine three months go by and I'm like, all right, just, I spent like six, $7,000 a month just in gasoline to, to fuel these things. Right. And I'm paying my rent and all this other shit on top of that. So I was like, yo, I hit them up and I said, 
email. And all this shit is tracked. So if you motherfuckers are listening, this shit, I'll go, we'll go straight back because I want to take them to court for this shit. You should. So imagine I'm saying, hey, I'm following what you guys want me to follow now. Certain orders, they're like, you got to do this, you got to do that. If you want to do this, follow this. I'm saying, hey, can you come verify that we're doing this? And imagine this. They don't show up. No response <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day, no response. So you came by 60 times before. And now you can't come up and pull it. And, and I said, can you turn my lights back on? Mm. I'm doing what you want me to do. No response to this day. Wow. To this day. So how'd you get the lights back I on? I cut the fucking lock and turned the lights back on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, they're doing illegal shit. Yeah. That's illegal. Mm. How, where, like, how would you not respond to that? Is, where, in what world is that not illegal? Yeah. Like, you can't be like, oh, we're just, oh, we did that. And we're just dipping. You can't do that's fucking illegal. Did you ever think to just not post on social media? Because it was bringing too much attention. <laughs> no, fuck that. It's stupid. <laughs> I was going to stop what I was doing. I mean, you can stop posting on social media. You know? <laughs> Why would I do that? Like I've been the, doing that the forever. Clubhouse, you know? I'm doing that forever. <laughs> All right, fair enough. But yes, during the time, to ask you a question, it did. There was, a, it was like tons of people. Dude, you gotta, there was massive lines. People were like waiting in the lobby because everyone wanted to fucking work out. Like you yeah. were trying to take something away from someone that is like so basic. People love and they feel like they need this and it does so much for their mental health, yeah. their sanity, their bodies. All this is like people are going to fucking find that. Yeah. And even though they wanted to get everyone, don't do it or whatever, it's yeah. like people were finding that. So yes, during that time, it yeah. definitely, it helped during that time for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's like, uh, I don't think people, I don't know, at least for me, maybe I learned that early on. Like, again, maybe I haven't worked out consistently enough to like get gains. But like for you me, you haven't. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You you're have super Jeez. soft, right? Yeah, yeah. You definitely have. I just need, but here's the thing. The way that I exercise, it's really just mental release. So I exactly. just need like, I don't care. I, I care if I'm like thin or whatever, but I need to get out of here. I mean, listen. And, and that's what you're talking about when it comes yeah. to like the mental health aspect of it. Like this is why I exercise. Yeah. I never go to the gym and I'm like, I need my biceps to get bigger. If they do, that's awesome. Yeah. And if I'm working out more consistently, that's, that's great. And it makes me feel good and I feel better about myself. But I run relentlessly for this shit. This is what it's all about, though. Like, it's not about, I'm not saying, everyone listen, you got to be a bodybuilder to get this out of it. It's literally what you're saying. Yeah. It's like just some level of physical activity, this sort of form of release. Yeah. It's like a different form of meditation. Like when you're in it and you can focus on it. 100%. And every, like for me, when I was young, it was like nothing else. I was able to not think about everything else. Yes. And yeah, I was yeah, able yeah, to yeah. focus on this and not think about all the negative shit in my life. And I was able to just do what was like physically. I, I've always wondered, I've always wondered like, all right, you know when you're in your like worst state, how much you need exercise, or can you can you Absolutely. think about that? Right, like yeah. I feel like I can run more effectively. Then I feel like I can get into like the trance yeah. of the workout. Everything is more powerful for me in that for for me in that state. And I'm like, I wonder if like Olympic athletes or like these like like the weightlifter guys who lift the crazy shit. I wonder if they can induce that when they're about to lift. For sure. Like yeah. I, I watch those videos of like you so, see like the marine guys where the whole fucking group is around everybody's cheers them they're going to do some crazy deadlift. I'm uh, like For sure. So like like when, no, like I could relate to this when I was when I first started training, the thing that I first took serious wasn't bodybuilding, it was Olympic weightlifting. Mm. So the first thing that I got good at in in working I mean I started training was like, "Oh, I look big," but the first like actual sport in lifting was Olympic weightlifting. So it's like, you know, about Olympic weightlifting, powerlifting, bodybuilding, right? And powerlifting is essentially deadlift. Powerlifting is squat, squat, bench, deadlift. And then what's the one where you do, it's a clean? This is Olympic weightlifting. Clean and jerk? Clean jerk. And yeah, the yeah. snatch. That's Olympic weightlifting. What's snatch? Snatch is like from the floor, your arms are here, and then mm -hmm. you end up like overhead like that. And then what is the clean then? The clean is your arms are here, and then you end up shoulder, and then you're up. And then you have to push it up. Overhead. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a jerk. But um, so when I did that, I'll give you a perfect example. Like, when you do it and you're like going for that that like max level where you're like this is my new rep like my new PR right and you're trying to go above and beyond that you've ever gone, I can fully relate. Even when I've done this with deadlifting, it's like you almost like you go out of body almost. Yeah. Where you're just mm. like it just happens and you're like you're done. You're like oh shit I did it or you oh shit I didn't do it. Yep. So because you've trained so much to like just act in that certain range of motion in that certain technique, that like if you're pushing that level, you just get to a point where it's like you get done and you're like, oh, I got it. Yeah. It's different. There's a, there's a weird mental aspect to it. Like, For sure. I wouldn't be able to lift what you can lift, obviously. But I feel like I could lift 5 or 10%, maybe more than what I can, if I can access that. For sure. And I feel like that about like But it's also or, training, getting to that point so you could, you could access that. Yes. But it, up here, not yeah. only physically. Oh, like, it's fully mental. It's not physical. Dude, like there, there'll be times where like I'm running and like I just play the same song over and over again. Because I can get into a meditative state. 
Yeah. Like it's not new information that I have to think about. Not new lyrics. It's the same thing over. And I just get lost. Yeah. So I'm like, how the fuck do I do well, that? Well, you got to think like how anyone makes like that. Like you go from what I can lift to 100 pounds more, 20 pounds more. Like you're going beyond you've ever gone, right? So there must be an ability to access it. Exactly. But it is through mental for sure. You got to think about it. It's like you're, you're I, you know, it's not like going and training and hitting biceps. Okay, I'm hitting biceps. Boom, boom, I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah. It's like but a squat or a deadlift or a big movement where you're really pushing the weight to a different level or like you're you're going beyond you've ever ran like the amount of the like amount of miles you're like you've always ran 10 miles but you're going for 12 and like there's that moment where you're just like holy shit, I'm mm. gone beyond the point I've ever gone. Yeah. It's all mental. That's yeah. where it's all mental. Like you do train to run the 10, to run the five, to run the 10, to run the five. And then you like, I want to run the 12 to get truly to that 12. It's like you, you almost get lost. And yeah. You're almost like watching yourself to, to push that. So then now the 12 becomes like your new set point, but it's, it's not just, it's not definitely not just physical. Yeah. There. It's like that incremental increase has to be mental because up here you, you're, you're only capable of doing what you've done. Exactly. Yeah. So to get to a point where it's beyond that, yeah, it, it's all here. So then, what happens? What happens for you? Like, are you in a state right now where you're like, I want to maintain this, or are you constantly creating new goals? It's more about creating new goals now. So for me, it's like my my focus is like I'm more I'm more focused on like this type of content, this type of learning, this type of giving, this type of showing, right? Yeah. Um, and physically, it's like my new goals would be like, okay, because over the years, I was never really the guy. I never was really the guy who was like, I was always like big like strong and i did some shit but i was never really a guy who's like taking my shirt off and like showing my abs right so now i'm like yo i want to get fucking shredded mm -hmm. so you're trying to lean up yeah i want to get lean yeah so i want to like do some shit that i really didn't like doing as much which is like doing more cardio doing right. more stuff like that like more running more yep. biking more things that like really get fucking like tight you know because like before it was all about getting stronger getting bigger how getting... much more can i lift yeah and now i'm at the point where it's like i i've i've kind of like not got past that but i i'm just my interest is a little bit different yeah yeah mm -hmm. and but you like, have to shift and have a goal yeah or else you're just going to be miserable and, and yeah it and yeah. mentally beyond just the physical it's like i mean more stuff like just this like conversation stuff i'm yeah. enjoying so much more in my life yeah 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 so yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. different it's just as you as you i mean as you age as you get older or just as you progress to even like you know, just things you've kind of already done. You you just want to start to try and develop in new skills. Yeah, you yeah, a hundred better at it. Yeah, yeah. Fighting, fighting. Would you do it? I think about that a lot. Talk to me. Yeah, I would love to do it because but, you but I know trained. For, yeah, I've trained a few. I, I've, I mean, I, which disciplines? Jiu-jitsu and some Muay hands thai. or no Muay Thai. Okay. Yeah. Generally, with a guy as as like muscular as you. I would say there's no way you can strike. And then I saw you dunk. Yeah. And I, I was like, strike. this guy you, might be fucking, this guy might be able to box a little bit. It's the thing that I, the, the biggest, you, my biggest issue. You know what I'm issue, talking about? Like sure. sometimes you see the big guys try to strike. And yeah, and they're like, like throwing pillows. Yeah. Yeah. They, they can push because you guys are so used to push motion. Yeah. But snapping a punch is, is a way different. Of course. But you must have fast twitch if you can fucking dunk from the vert. Yeah. So, but for me, it's like, I know the thing that I lack the most, if I'm talking about fighting, like being like, honestly, like genuinely honest about this, yeah. I know that I would need to train specifically like cardiovascular. Yeah. Like I'd have to be like doing BJJ like every day. I'd have to be doing striking every day. Maybe like, reduce mass a little bit too. Yeah. Like, I'd have to lose weight for what sure. Was that BJJ? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're like, is there a new type? A new type of bullshit? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Wait, yeah. BJJ. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. because... Carrying 260, like those muscles need oxygen. Dude. Yeah, you're fucked. There's like, unless yeah. like, you know, you've, unless I, as I gain this weight, I was also doing all that stuff. So your cardio would match. Exactly. But I wasn't right. So like my cardio would match like, you know, a fucking a bodybuilder who'd be like, I'm spending time doing this. Yeah. 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 But if, as I was gaining that weight, I was also striking and I was also doing BJJ. I was also doing all the fighting training, like sports. Disciplines. Yeah. Yeah. Disciplines. Exactly. Then I'd be like, okay, as I went up and wait, you know, cause I'm, I must've been eating crazy amounts of food to get to that and to maintain that. Mm. Then I would be like, okay, I'm more adapt for that. Mm. But I know that I haven't been, so it's like I haven't been doing enough of it. I've been doing more of the other, so I know I'd have to shift my training. Now, you see these guys, you see obviously like Jake and Logan making crazy money, yeah, right? And you're like, oh, wow, there is a space for celebrity fighting. Yeah, it's crazy. And you happen to have experience in the discipline. 
You're not learning it. I mean, like Jake and Logan learned how to box over the last three years. Yeah. You've been training jujitsu longer or around uh, the same time? Not, not as consistent. Like, I'd be more like you, the consistent inconsistency. Yeah. You're in it a little yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. then you pull out in a little. Yeah. But I've even watched some videos. Like, you know some stuff. Like, you can yeah. choke some people out. For sure. Okay. So, there has to be part of you that's going like, should I enter this? Yeah, definitely. Like, would you want to? I'd love to. I'd like to do, I'd like to do the UFC thing. I'd like to, I, I don't yeah. want to do the boxing thing. Okay. Like, if I was going to fight, it wouldn't be boxing. Because you have more experience in jiu-jitsu. Well, yes, but I'd also, like, just like to use my whole body. Like, if I was going to put my face and my, like, my, my reputation on the line, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be, like, just relying on striking. Because I know that I'd like to, like, I'd like to ground and pound someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, 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 who do you want? What I'm, makes the biggest fight? Because you're somebody who understands the internet as well. Like, what is, what is the headline that's, like... I mean, it's one of those guys. It's Jake it's or Logan. Jake. Jake or Logan. Logan. Jake is the number one right now because he's the number one guy in it. If you fought Jake in MMA, yeah. you think you handle that? Yeah, for Easy. sure. Yeah, I beat the fuck out of him right now. <laughs> really? Yeah. In MMA? In MMA. Boxing? About, no. Because the kid can fight. No. Dude. And I think a lot of people underestimated him. I, I fully agree. Yeah. I fully agree. I'm just saying, based on my weight... It, exactly. You it, get on top of them yeah. and the experience in jujitsu, and it's just like that's why I know. And if I'm striking, nah, I'm gassing the fuck out. I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to hang like that for long enough. So you basically mm. you're going to try to take him down as quick as possible. Like, take me through that first round with you and Jake. <laughs> yeah, because I know you've thought Let's about go. it. I know you've thought about it. Take me through the first round. I mean, it'd be simple. I you're avoiding the right I, hand. I would. T I, I would avoid. I would avoid it, and I'd take him down. And I and I hate to say this, but I would. I would just tire him out for the first like few rounds. Meaning like body yeah, weight, pressure. holding him down. Pressure. That, that fucking... Constricting pressure. Grappling cardio yeah, is a pressure, different Pressure, pressure, pressure. Yeah, yeah. And then get him tired. And then probably one of the rounds do the same thing and then just ground and pound. So yeah. not try to tap out? No, probably not. You don't think he'd give up that back, bro? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I think he might give up I don't, that back. I, but I want to fucking... Oh, I, you want to finish? Yeah, I want to be like... I want blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want blood. Sounds like Mine or his? I don't give a fuck. I want blood. It really? has got to be blood. Interesting. Yeah. It, are you worried at all about like fucking up your face? Like you're a good if looking I guy. Got, if I got to that point, no. Right. If if I'm fighting him, no way. But because there's so much money that exactly. you could fix it. Exactly. Yeah. Like if you're talking about now, okay, if I gotta go through the UFC, I gotta fight a Start bunch of guys to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna get like fucked up yeah, over time. Yeah, yeah. You know. But if it's just it's all for that. I'm not worried about it. Interesting. Okay, now so. what about... Now, Logan can wrestle a bit. Yeah. Would you be worried at all with a person with a wrestling background? I tried to wrestle Logan. What we tried to do that. It would never happen. Did Logan... I don't know. Mm. I mean, he's... Listen, at the same time, Logan is... I, I'm not the kind of guy to be like, oh, I'm on this... Like, Logan's fucking, you know... Maybe yeah. if he doesn't want to wrestle me, it's because, like, maybe he thinks he has more clout. He does. I'm not... I'm not he I, has something to lose in that situation. For sure. He's got, a, he's got more clout. I mean, you're not even going to fucking be a liar. Like, yeah, the guy yeah. got more I mean, fucking This deep. is obvious. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's one of the most famous people. So, on the planet. like, yeah. for him to take that and to, to lose that, there's more to lose, right? But it would still be like a fun wrestling match for between sure. you guys. For sure. And also, you would argue that he's at a disadvantage for weight. Yeah. Like you're a big guy. You've experienced wrestling too or just jujitsu? Uh, I mean, not, not specific wrestling, no. He's so, that's the thing about jujitsu is like, jujitsu starts when wrestling finishes. Yeah. It's fucked. Right? Like, yeah, he gets fucked. you where he thinks he wants you, and you're like, yeah. welcome. On the back, yeah. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So that's where it might be a little bit unfair. Just a wrestling match might be towards him. But yeah. if it's a grappling match where there is... Yeah, if we're just wrestling, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sure his technique's better, because I know that he's done more wrestling. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I know that he has more cardiovascular endurance than me. That's for sure. Right. He's a lighter guy. I know he's been doing... I don't know how much he's been doing, but... Right. But then grappling cardio is different. I yeah. keep telling people, you see this in UFC all the time. You see guys like this happened to Dustin. Yeah. Like Dustin Poirier, is, his cardio is amazing. Any fight you, I've never seen Dustin get gas. Throwing to the end of the rounds when he's throwing. Yeah. But when he has to fight off the ground. It's just different, man. It's, it's a different so cardio. Different. Have you done it? Never. I, I've been just like, I've you know, Rogan's tapped me out and that kind of stuff like that. Just jokingly. But like never like grappling never done any you should try it is so fucking hard yeah it's because it's it's obviously like the the animal instinct of like fight or flight so your your adrenaline your heart rate's higher so then like oxygen usage is going way up and this because like brazilian jiu-jitsu is like if it's all about being calm and if you're not like you're gonna skill, be breathing heavy you're gonna if be you're not terrified. skilled you get into it you're like fuck and then at the same time the person is doing stuff where you're like i don't know like where are they going if you're uns unskilled with the actual techniques you know that they're coming for something. 
And if you don't know how to defend it, you're getting scared. Because your like, heart's what racing. What is this setting up? Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then at the same time, pressure, right? The pressure of like, you know, imagine every time you breathe, you take a breath out. And then that person, like a good, a good one, will get a, they're going to get a little deeper. So you can breathe a little less each time. They're trying oh, to wow. constrict your lungs. Yeah. So imagine like they're like pressure. So like you're having your recovery is going. So now everything you do is like you're heavier. You can't you're not you're not really throwing hard punches because they're like throwing fucking pillows because like you're oxygen. You're an oxygen debt. Mm. So if you get on top of someone, you're constantly applying pressure. They're trying to get you off. They're trying to restrict even that motion. Like you see with the, some of the, the UFC fighters where like once a guy gets on top, I think it's the Francis guy did this with the, the uh, Sorogan. Gone. Yeah, yeah. Once he got on top, this guy's like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, and if he knew it. how to stay on top, that's all he needed to do. And then he, the guy's just like, he can't be the same striker. Because he's so exhausted. Exactly. Because trying to get someone off you or trying to avoid, at, just having someone on you yeah. who knows how to stay on top of you and then continue to apply pressure is like, for a round, the next round you get up, you're like, you're throwing fucking pillows. Well, dude, it's, I mean, you see it in boxing matches, yeah. right? It's like guys who start to gas out, even the heavy hitters, like the one punch knockout night night guys, yeah. once they gas out, you could take a punch. Yeah. You could take a punch. Exactly. Yeah. So it's a whole different game, man. I mean, that's, that's what makes martial arts so fucking interesting. Okay. Have you ever wanted to, because I've seen, I was watching this compilation of the Nelk boys uh, just, just fucking trolling your ass. All right, dude, relax. We get it. You're strong, bro. We get it. You're strong, dude. It's okay. You don't have to break the set. You know gotcha, what I mean? Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> but like, I've seen them, them trolling you and I'm just like, have you ever been to a point where off camera, you're like, I'm going to fucking kill one of these kids. <laughs> I'm going to kill one of them. Not because like it's always in playful manner, but there has been moments. The, the fucking uh, electrocution shit. The taser. The taser. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little part of you. No, but this is the crate. It's like, do I? Say, it's like. That's such cat, bro. It's not real. Really? Yeah. That was set up. Call me Leonardo DiCaprio, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I'm in this bitch. Give me an Oscar. Someone give me an Oscar. No, no. It's, it's not. It's yeah. It's like we, you know. Now, set up in oh, terms, shit, is set up like, know. is it set up like... Like, do you think I'd really let someone tase me and not beat the fuck out of them? Okay, question. Serious, think about it. Is it set up like, hey, we're going to do something, play along with it, but I'm not going to let you know what it is? Or is it set up like, hey, I'm going to fucking tase you? No, it's 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 like, it's kind of like, you know some shit's going to go on. Like, play along with it. Play along. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. But you don't know exactly what it's going to be. Yeah, no, not all the time, no. Got yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Interesting. Like, there'll be shit where I'm like, oh, of course. And I, but I'll see it right away. I'll be like, oh, okay, this is what it is. Okay. Motherfuckers, like. Because I remember seeing that. And, and there's I'm like, some shit that I'll be like, after the fact, like, I'll kind of be like, yo, don't, don't do shit. Ever like do that, that again. Yeah, like, I'm not going to cool fucking kill and you. Matter of fact, don't put that on the internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the other thing is like, you have the ability. It seems like you could beat any of them up. Every single one of them. Probably at the same time. <laughs> Together. <laughs> but like, that's the fight. Yeah, yeah but I that's love it. That's the fight. But I, all, all three of us. All three of us. No. No, I would never. I love them. I love them. No, they, they, look, I, love I, them. I, I only uh, t uh, know uh, Salim, and he's a good kid. He's a sweet he kid. Is. That Salim's shit, really that motherfucker makes me laugh, bro. So, yeah. Salim is a fucking, he's a good that dude. That moaning shit. Yeah. He's that good. I have cried at that. Yeah, he's funny, man. He's a funny. and he's a good dude. He's he a is guy. really a good dude. Yeah. Okay. Steve's a fucking amazing dude. That's like my brother, man. I'm not as familiar with with Steve. I know a little of Kyle stuff from the pod. Right. And um, I was surprised you weren't involved in that. Yeah, I well, I kind of was here and there. Like I did a few episodes with them. Yeah, but I don't know. Um, I figured for some reason that you guys would do that together. Yeah, I don't know. There's there's a. I don't know. There's a little bit of thing. I don't know. What, what did you? What did you also feel that way? Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was like, that's interesting. Yeah. but it's all good. You know, yeah. I'm like, all right, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. What? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is, dude. I'm like, dude. I guess because like, yeah. I know I. I don't know. It's just I don't know. <laughs> what? Fun, what, dog? You can talk about it. I don't think he knows. I, don't, I yeah. I think I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just like. I would have loved to have been a part of it. I just figured that synergy would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we did episodes and it was. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because uh, your online business needs to be able to ship out your product efficiently. Okay. You need to save the most money possible on that shipping because the shipping could be what's killing your profits. 100%. You could have an absolutely amazing business, but you can't make money because that shipping is crushing you. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to hook you up so you don't got to worry about that with ShipStation. Okay. Online shipping isn't slowing down anytime soon. Your business needs to be ready to keep up with the pace that things are operating at right now. ShipStation 
you'll never have to worry about shipping again. Make the switch to a solution that handles all your shipping needs quickly and affordably and painlessly. That's the most important part. All right, ShipStation saves you time by funneling all your orders into one simple interface, no matter where you're selling, okay? You can also save money when you compare carrier options and choose the best shipping solution every single time. And you save your sanity, knowing your orders are handled and you're getting the best rates. So ship more and less time with ShipStation. Use our offer code FLAGRANT to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months free, no hassle stress-free shipping just go to shipstation.com click on the microphone on the top of the page and type in flagrant ship station make ship happen now let's get back to the show and again i don't know their business so i can't say but like i i, I can understand people want to create their own things 100 percent. and i'm sure that's something that you like doing i'm yeah. sure it's something that everybody likes doing want to create their own things for sure and uh, that is also the demise of every great band, but it is okay. <laughs> and we hope the demise never... of every great band. That's <laughs> you, know, funny. you know what I mean? John Lennon want to go create his own shit. Fuck all that shit, yeah. John. But uh, no, no. But I, I can see that urge to kind of like have that soul focus and soul like vision when it comes to to creating a product. For sure. You and know? I, and I'm not mad at all. I, it, like again, they they. They make great fucking decisions, you know? Yeah. So yeah. it is what it is. No, they're balling. I would have loved. But your guys, t your stuff, t I don't know. Again, I'm an outsider. I'm not as involved in the content. Like, yeah. I'm fucking 38. You know yeah. what I mean? But from the outside, like, you guys have re this really fun chemistry. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know. It kind of seems like this. I felt the same way. Like, I, I don't know. For me, I'm like a creator. So I'm going, yeah, you have these NFL guys on, but like have Bradley just body slam every single one of them. And like, let's see who's the real athlete. Right. Like <laughs> imagine that. Just, 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 they're just fun stuff. Like, yeah, you and AB have a vert competition. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, I think you got AB. I, I mean, I don't know. Vert? His, on a standing vert. I think standing so. vert. Yeah, standing vert. That's another. And we'll, we'll go back. to But like standing vert is different. Like I'm a one leg jumper. So you're a runner. I could dunk. easy. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day. Now, no. Yeah, How tall say. are you? You're pretty tall. 6'2". Yeah, you're tall. But like still, for like 6'2", like dunking is probably like a little bit surprising during a yeah, basketball absolutely. game. But when I saw the vert, if you're a basketball guy, like, yeah. you know, vert's different. Like Dominique Wilkins was a crazy dunker because it was off of two feet. Yeah, I do everything off vert. You I can't do. No, that's the thing. I don't, I don't have that fucking single leg finesse. Oh, I've also wow. never tried it. Well, maybe you should fucking try maybe it. I should try Dude, it. off the vert. Because yeah, sometimes you're going for the free throw line. I'll be having dreams where I'm like, yo, I'm flying. I'm like, maybe <laughs> it's really like that. I just never really tried it. Okay. Because there's more of the ball, the, the pause, the ball handling <laughs> skill. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't have that finesse to like, you know what I'm saying? So you, yeah, you weren't dribbling up to go dunk. Exactly. So as long as you could hold Bam. it, you could do it. You were doing okay. like gym box jump training to the point where. Yeah. I mean, it was most of my jump training came from the Olympic lifting when I was younger. Yeah. I mean, and so I was like, cause that's all like pretty much explosive vert. Yeah. 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 But obviously you got the barbell. So that's where it came from. Oh. So it was never like, cause I'm, you're in one, you're in one spot. Yeah. You're not like yeah. running to go do that. Yeah. 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 Um, What's your PR for vert? I don't even know, dude. I never really tested it. But I actually, I think, remember that guy came by the gym? Yeah. There's a guy who has a world record came by the gym. Uh -huh. And he said the world record was like, what, 67 or some shit? <laughs> and mine was like, <laughs> mine, I remember mine at the time was, must have been 63. This is before the record was. Standing vert? Standing vert. This, Bro. remember? No. He, he measured this, right? There's no way. No, he didn't measure. You could maybe hit a box that was 63. No, no, it was up to my shoulders. Like, that's where Your it was. feet standing on a standing boom. vert. Yes. It's like, I'm 6'3", so it was like up to here. Like a, maybe a little bit, like a little bit there. But this kid, this kid blew way past it. He's shorter than I am. And he did the standing vert even higher. But yeah, this was years ago. He's supposed to. He's the best. He's the best, yeah. You're a guy on YouTube. Who weighs you're 260. Not, <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to Who have weighs 260. That's the thing vert. that I, I was talking to him. I was in, literally doing this video with this kid. And I was like, that's crazy. damn, We're I wonder if I... the best linebacker that never played in the yeah, NFL. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty that's funny. What are you doing Crazy, here? bro. It's weird. I don't know. Dude, should we get you a tryout? That's a video. I don't know. That's man. a video. Bro, that is a video. Are you kidding? You know how many years people have been fun? Sent, you know how many years since I've been doing social media? Yeah. I've been I've been be like, do the NFL thing, try out, do but this. You know do what this. it is? There's so much technique. So the problem is That's this. the thing. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. Exactly. I mean, I'm not those guys. Like it's I, like you could probably take an NFL guy and have him work out with you, and you could you could look at him and go, Man, if I trained him in technique, he 100%. could probably lift so much. For but sure. he's limited by technique. It's, but there's there's difference. It's like skill yeah. on this field. And yeah. then there's like 
like application of like a physical feat. It's yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. matter how much you like, that's what yeah. you're saying. If I did it when I was younger, what and I would learn all the skills because like there's no way I can't relate to like these these NFL players. Like they spent like the skill work is still so goddamn. It's like mm. everything. Yeah, it doesn't matter how actually like. Yeah. You know, if you don't have the actual skill or like the, you know, knowing, okay, where, what's happening. Yeah. It doesn't matter how fucking actually like athletic, like you are. Yeah. Right. To a degree. I think we need to set up that match. MMA rules. You versus all three of the Nelk boys. Yeah, I'll do it. They wouldn't. No, of course if not. If I'm them, I wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. And I wouldn't even want to, I wouldn't even want to, like, to be honest, I wouldn't want to fight Steve. What I if love you Steve. just have to tap them out? That with three people, fuck. And they could hit you while. Yeah, I know. Like while you're trying to tap but them out, they're like key, fucking. Knowing them, I'd be like, just watch. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, you grab up Salim. If I'm them, I'm like, I think we just got to watch this happen. I think I could tap Salim out while still getting punched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like in the face. But Steve, hard. though, Steve is strong. I feel Steve like, is strong. I feel Steve like is strong. strong. Steve is strong. Well, well, you, you have to go Tess? for him first. <laughs> Hold That's on. how it works. Steve's on Tess? Is he He's on, on Anavar? I think it's Anavar. <laughs> is, he, is he flicking before he's sticking or what? I don't know. <laughs> flicking. I don't know. <laughs> flicking and sticking, baby. That's that motherfucker's business, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's... Dude, why would anyone not? That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm 38. If I was going to lift to, like, get diesel, you're out of your mind if you think I'm not using steroids. If you see me again in my life get shredded, you know exactly what the fuck it is. I'm saying it right now on the pod. You all know exactly what the fuck it is. We have to suffer through the attitude that's going to develop. That's the only reason I don't do it is because of you. Because you guys could suffer from my attitude. Like, I've never had any. <laughs> we suffer from his Cialis use. Yeah. I don't know. Dude, is that really a yeah, thing? Yeah, is he yeah, serious? That's that sea rage. Is he serious? Yeah. Sea rage. Yeah. Sea, rage yeah. sea rage is not real. Yeah. Never, yeah. dude? No. Never at all. Because like, I'm is, just thinking I'm okay about with fucking. It. It's blue chew. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But that's because you're, oh, well, no, no. You're in a relationship. You've been for, how long again, you said? For time. For time. Yeah. Yeah. He's just disputed. <laughs> Disputed Under territory. Time. Undisputed. Yeah, we a, know about it's that. It's a little disputed, yeah. We a little bit we got an Israeli on the podcast. We know about the disputed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how about that? How about that fucking uh, the, the fucking is the uh Tinder Swindler guy? Oh, he's dude, Israeli legend, guy, right? Bro. He's right there. No, no, like, <laughs> no, like, <laughs> no, like <laughs> real <laughs> shit. He's the exact Did you, you guys watch this shit, right? You know yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. I literally I been haven't joking. watched the show yet, but I've obviously been bro. hearing about it. Yeah, okay, yeah. you saw at the end if you guys seen it. This guy's free. He's a free man. And he's selling like business shit. I'm like, yo, I want to buy that low key. Yeah. Cause this guy, I, 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 the whole time I'm watching this, I'm like, yo, if he just put his effort towards like building a real business, yeah. Cause this is not easy what he was yep. doing. Yep. He just released something today. What was it? Yeah, he, no, it'll be on Inside Edition. In- I literally yeah. have been joking with Bro, Israeli I want him on and my Jewish podcast. friends. I'm literally telling people that you're Israeli. Is, I'm Moroccan with Israeli okay. family, but yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm telling people that that dude is worse for Israel than the Palestinian conflict. Bro, because, he is. Because people, this is the thing, they know Jews, right, around the world through history, and then they know, like, Israeli government policy, but Israel has, like, a million of those fucking dudes, and so now the secret's out. I'm like, Bro. assassinate, quick. That, <laughs> that, guy, was out of here. that guy was wow. fucking out of here. impressive there to me, so though. Many but wait, why, what, was, what was so crazy about it? I, I haven't he, seen it yet. He I just ran know. the game on, like, uh, tons of women, the same exact game. So what he was doing was he was like getting money from this girl to pay for like stuff for this girl yeah. and making it look like he had money, obviously. But he was running the same game. Like he was How like, the fuck was he getting all this money? He from sells. Them? Well, he sells the fact that he's a son to they a think big he's diamond rich. family. They think he's rich, but then so how- they're racist. <laughs> no, no, they think he's no, rich. He, he they're can, believing it because he's well, this guy. He's this Israeli dude. Like, like they're, they're not Photoshop feeling that bad for the oh, women okay, because okay, they okay. they were gullible and they wanted yeah. that life. I'm but, just saying, like when Africans try to do with that email scam, <laughs> nobody believes it, right? <laughs> I mean, what some, some, when Nigerians, when Nigerians, <laughs> oh, just give me forty thousand dollars and then I can, uh, you know, I'll give you ten ten million dollars. You never gotten scammed? No, 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 but they're not doing it that way. But you've heard another. No, but he 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 slow cooks it. Like this guy's basically like so the women. Attention, Nigeria. So he has the money. You see what I'm saying? He yeah. has the money and he like finesse him a little bit. He's like, borrow some money, pay them more money back, but he's using someone else's money. And then I just want to I don't know how he started in the first place. Like, how did he get the initial investment? Yeah. That's what I want to know. Where did he go with that? Because he's making him feel like, oh, he's got money because he's taking me here, he's taking me there. And I'm getting and then, my money paid back. Why exactly. Would I not give it and to then you? he'll slowly be like, Oh, this is happening. We need help. Uh, they're freezing my accounts. Can you help me with so this? So now the women believe so that they need to support him because he's got exactly. enemies that track his like Amex movements and payments. So they need. So they're like, hey, will you get a your own Amex card and then let me use it so I can like 
pay but for I'll my pay hotels you back. without I got you. tracking and, and all that. And they believe him and he's saying, I'm in love so with he, you, I'm in love with yeah. you, I'm in love with you. Then he does things where it's like, he'll get them to get a Dude, bigger, go uh, a, a bigger maximum. Hold on one second. I got to pee yeah, so go, fucking go, go. back. <laughs> Holy fuck. Go, 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 like 20 go, go, go. Go, go, go. Plus your story, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Do you know where it is? Down far. Down already, the hole that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took yeah. A shit. Go, finish, yeah. finish, 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 finish. No, so then he basically convinces them to get a higher max limit on their credit cards uh, by like, he'll fake that they're an employee of his diamond company. They'll And he'll just max out credit cards of these women to like take the other women out and it's just this like Ponzi scheme of love stories and all the while they're like shit my cards are maxing uh, but he's gonna give it back he's giving them like hey take this uh, this AP in the meantime uh, until he I stole from back. another girl no there's a fake AP that like you can cash out just a whole Ponzi he's moving money around he'll pay back a little to this girl while he's getting them to come and take out another loan I got up and I ran down the hallway okay I realized how fucking drunk I was oh good <laughs> yeah just off one little Casamigos well I don't drink like that man really yeah I don't drink like never. that never I mean I drink but not like a lot I mean it's just a little bit of Casamigos oh, oh. bro yeah, but I don't really drink though. Okay, well we'll get you nice and saucy. Where's where's the <laughs> Yeah, where'd it go? Oh no, you have it over there. No, I have. No, that's it. Sundays. Whatever, Sundays. We're doing low Sundays. Um, okay, so Tinder Swindler, right? Yes. Um, you would try to be him if if you had another shot. I mean, dude, I was a little impressed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm telling you, like genuinely. I mean, aren't there like don't? I mean, girls do this kind of shit all the time, Yo, Loki. So that's that's the thing that I don't think people are talking about. Right? Like all the time. This is like they're not all girls. Obviously, they don't pay you back. Yeah, they, <laughs> no, you know, they it's, just it's, it's just give me watches, uh, give listen, me trips, give me all this. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's like a what? norm. It's a norm. That's what I'm saying. It's a norm. <laughs> like yeah. all of a sudden, it's like and and it's a documentary when it happens to girls, but when it happens to guys, it's just like it's like you, that you you knew you what you that. were getting into exactly. But Ow. I guess it's not the same exact thing, right? It's not like well, we're they're okay. not like guys can't be victims. I mean, we can, dude. We well, are. Yeah. We're in a lot of situations. Yeah, but we can't be. Kind of. Societally, yeah. nobody well, gives no, a no, fuck. Well, no, of course not. Yeah, yeah. No, no. It's our yeah. fault. Yeah. Period. Oh, the guy got taken advantage of. Like, no, there's yeah, a fuck. Fuck that guy. Exactly. But Al, what were you saying? No, you said, just saying, Go ahead. What the fuck were you saying? Nah, yeah, I mean, they're saying? still giving up the pussy, so it's like, oh, like so it's different. So the, oh. Our dicks aren't worth enough. Exactly. His, <laughs> that's the real re Pussy's worth the gifts. It's worth more. Dick ain't. Damn it. Yo. It's fucking true. We just found out. His that's dick it. ain't worth 10 million. How much did he swindle from that girl? Way more. No, but not one no. girl. Tons of girls. Tons of girls. They're estimating ten million from the from the show. It's hundred thousands out of three girls. That's it. One hundred thousand dollars. We have no, a whole each girl. Thing? No, each girl, uh, hundred to hundred fifty thousand. From Dick a girl trash. that doesn't have that, that literally Dick is took trash. Like loans. Dick is trash. Nah. Dick is trash. A hundred thousand dollars you could get from a girl if your dick is good, guaranteed. Guaranteed, you get a hundred thousand dollars if your dick is good. I think it's good. One hundred percent, you could get a hundred thousand dollars if your dick good is good. Good schmeckle. I like without the games. I'm saying, just like over meaning, time. like shorty will just give you the money. It's all good. Like yeah, that's but, fine. But in how but hundred thousand, like, just yes, like rich like, girls that got a hundred thousand. You don't think they'll give you a hundred thousand of daddy's yeah, money? Yeah, but he's getting this from wait, poor wait, girls. Wait, wait, they don't got no hundred. No, no, he was no. getting this from rich girls. So no, not all of them were rich. From normal, like just normal women. Gets girls are like thirty one, thirty two. So they're like, you know, they have a job. They're working. They got a. They can get a higher limit on their MX and then take out like one girl took out. Like oh, so they weren't loans, rich. Oh, small shit. little loans. Yeah. From small no, that's foul. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it's kind of. You can take up. advantage of rich people, but not no. middle class. This is middle class. No, that's oh. fucked up. This guy's yeah. a real piece of shit. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. If he was taking advantage of like like some like spoiled rich chicks, like it's really daddy's money. You didn't work for that money anyway. Yeah, yeah. this guy's your a daddy should have raised you better. This guy's fucked up. Then yeah, this guy's a piece of shit. I didn't really see that when I looked at it. This guy's a piece of garbage. And he's getting women at the age where they want to lock it down. Yeah. Oh, this is a scumbag. Yeah. Big time. Oh, it actually Big makes time. it so much worse because <laughs> yeah. like their hearts are like, I, I'm ready for this. I need a kid. I need a kid. kid. Nobody's like chosen timing me. as well, like the clock and all that shit. Trying yeah. to have a kid. So that's yeah. how the, the doc shows it. Like this, yeah. I believe in love, Beauty and the Beast story. Yeah, because he was like, this. I love you and then I miss you. All, this all over Instagram right now. She's loving the fame more than anything. Oh, okay. wait a second. You what really? Oh, one of the girls, dude. All, all of those three girls that are on the dock are already in the hundreds of thousands of Instagram followers. Holy trying shit! To make What's money back? <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, I'm trying to do a fit tea and all that shit. Yeah, <laughs> let them win, dog. They're still on the hook for all that Let them get some money because they won't answer a DM. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, I was DMing them trying to get them on the pod. Yo, real talk. <laughs> we need one of those girls. No, I would love to get that guy on a podcast. I tried too. He's answering the messages. 
I'm WhatsApping him. Has but he, he was been wait, on a podcast but yet? No, because he was waiting. Wait, you're actually doing, talking to him? I've been messaging. You gotta get that guy in the podcast. Right now. Call you him right gotta now. get that guy in the podcast. How much did you send him? How much did you send him? No, I swear to God, this let's guy on the pod is the real answer. You gotta yeah. get him on the pod. No, but he didn't do pods because he's waiting like inside edition. I guarantee you paid him yeah. a couple hundred grand. Yeah, let's see. We'll pay him too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pay him. We won't swindle him. That'd be kind of fun. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Answer. This would be amazing if he answered this. Speaker, son. Dude, if he answered this, he's fucking it's, lit. It's on speaker. Dude, let's pay for a cameo. 100%. Wait, does he have cameo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's on cameo. Yeah, that's the thing he signed up for. He's got to be running. Do he, it, I wonder Simon. how much money he's making right the now. The vodka shop. Chaim Shelly. Chaim Shelly. My enemies are after me. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you have to watch it. Uh, if he picks up. Fuck. Damn. Fucking juice. Ah, damn. The crazy thing. <laughs> yeah, you're stupid. <laughs> the funniest thing was at the end when they were like, when they were like, he got, he's good because like he wasn't in jail for this shit. Like they, they, they had him convicted a few times, but like at the end of this thing, they're like, he's a free man. Yeah. But why? Yeah. Sentenced he's to not 15 doing months. any crimes. Cause they're yeah. giving him the, money. It's like only they're not doing fraud. This fraud. Yeah. Yeah. They're just dumb enough to so do it. So he's chilling. Wait a minute. <laughs> he's becoming like an internet phenomenon. I thought that phenomenon. there was like, you know, something out for his arrest. There was like a warrant out no, for No, he him. got arrested for like real fraud stuff. And then, but because the women are literally giving him the money, it's like. What are you going to charge him with? Yeah, it's not illegal for you to give me money. Yeah, just like, just like like I said, oh, I mean, the girls run the game on guys like, forever. It's the same thing. I uh, need oh to be drawn God. this guy. This guy's going to be famous, dude. Yo, this he, is, he the, is. This is like Catch Me If You Can. Remember like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio movie I want this, where like... Oh, we need wow. this guy on the podcast. But if yes, you watch yes. it, if you watch it, you'll see how basic and his actual approaches and you're like it still works you don't mm, catch me it's hey, fucking it insane dude yeah you need to be asking why these girls hating, for money why are you hating your doves at? Yo, hey, i didn't realize he was hating because i'm a little tipsy but that was hate <laughs> that was so <laughs> that was hate he was literally like i that could get hate. so much more money yeah. from these desperate right. bitches like <laughs> yeah like i felt like he's gonna i would have got a million from each bro if you actually dated girls who were over 18 you might be able to <laughs> do this oh, oh, like, oh shit. Yo, you might be able to bro that's the problem like these girls got so many fucking uh eggs left you take girls with too many eggs. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You gotta get closer to the Jealous. end. You're a hater. No, I'm not a hater. No, you're not. I'll never be a hater. You are. Okay, uh, Brad, before you get out of here, we have to have a uh, strength competition. All right, let's do it. Eggs. I'm ready. Yeah. yeah, speaking of eggs, mm. we are gonna have a strength competition, me and you. All right, let's do it. Do I'm you ready. think that you can crush an egg top to bottom? Oh, fuck. I've done this before. Have you crushed um, it? I, like finger or like. Finger ah, top fuck. to bottom. Yeah, I think full. You can go full hand even. Nah, yeah. full hand's easy. I'll crush an egg. Easy. Isn't it? Wasn't what? Wasn't the? It's top to bottom is the one where. Can you do a full hand? Yes, I can crush an egg full hand. Can you? Get the eggs. Right, yo, dope, dope. Get Smart. the eggs. Get it's, the eggs. Nah, if you use your try it first top. I, to I bottom. was wondering why the fucking eggs was in here. That's <laughs> yeah. what you had this shit ready? Yeah, if you, if you okay. Yours, okay. bro. If you use we have you on here. We're gonna have a strength competition. Right Just crack it over. Get a paper towel. Yeah, can Jeez. we get like no, a right, like a no, who cares? something, a napkin of some sort? <laughs> so he, fuck think, it. he thinks you're weak as fuck. You don't think I can crack an egg with one hand? These are organic. These are organic too. They're nice. So that makes it easier. No, try it top to bottom. Okay. Top to bottom is where it's going to be hard, but we have to do it over something. I can do this shit. Hold on. Maybe we should Top do to bottom? It. Yeah. Well, Top Alex's hands are unbelievably strong. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Okay. That's the okay. only place I might be able to take it. Where? Where? You think you can take him cracking yeah, like an egg? Just hand strength. Hold on. Hold on, Al. Get over here. Let's do it. Oh, that's light work. Bro. Okay, but then we're just... No, 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 no. Not like that. One finger, one okay. finger. That's insane. There's no way. <laughs> Hold on, 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 should we clear some shit? Yeah, 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 what is he, what are you doing? Same shit, yeah, same shit, what do you mean? Hold on, is that it? Listen, I don't go fuck, I'm trying to, I'm here to win, dog. Hold on, hold on, Duff, where are those paper towels? Let me put them over this part of the table right here. This is my stronger hand, fuck. Okay, wait, you, which one is it, your left or your right? I don't know, I'm just gonna run it. Okay, hold on, hold on one second. Okay, ready? Al, go over the table so we all go over the table. Okay, so we, wait, let's make this even here. This is one finger, thumb, pointer finger. That's it. Don't use the other fingers. Okay. And then we have to crush. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Oh! <laughs> Damn, stupid. Oh, How did you do it? Stupid. Oh, hold on. Hold on, you're going to break it all over me. I don't believe you. I don't no, know. His hand straight is crazy. Yo, I told you, son. Yo. He's got this. Let's go. What How did you do that? And y'all were making fun of me. 
Y'all making fun no, of me every time. all over me. I know, bro. <laughs> you got nothing on, son. You got nothing on. Dude, hold we on. have that in hold slow-mo. On. Make sure we have it on hold him. Hold on, hold on. So, camp. Al, every, listen, on this podcast, he would adjust the mic stand every single time because I wasn't I strong. I told you I'm a retard. But <laughs> <laughs> we've said, Al came out recently saying that he was partially uh, autistic. Yeah. And which it, we confuse as being retarded, but that was definitely retard strength right there. Hold on. I mean, that's insane. <laughs> dude, it's all over my pants. Yeah. <laughs> I've oh, never the, tried this. Dude, dude, oh, this way I guarantee I could break it. Of course. Can you do that's whole easy. hand? Huh? Just whole hand? Yeah. Don't do that. Why? Of course anyone don't, can do don't that. Don't put it on the table. Wait, how are you not breaking it? You can't break it all. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I could, but I don't want it to go oh, everywhere. Oh, yeah. what are you yeah. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Oh, that's just dumb Bro, hard, son. I don't know if I can break it. Hold it. I don't you know can't if I can do it. Hold, 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 hold on, you go, Bradley. Bradley, you go. I don't think Bradley no, can do this. This is so funny. No I don't idea. think Bradley can do it. Yo, I'm Bro, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't break a whole hand. So I confident. always wondered how chickens could sit on it and it didn't break. <laughs> <laughs> I always my whole life wondered. I was like, why do they break? But this shit is mad hard to break. You must have got the broken one. Did you pre break it? Yo, he, you pre broke it. Yo, he's stuck in the hole. I'll be honest. I told him to stick one. So that I could do it and you would look at <laughs> You must have got the one they stuck. No, I didn't, bro. Wow. Did you stick one? <laughs> you swear to God in your life? I swear, I swear to God. <laughs> this guy's got good strength. I wanted me to look good and you look bad, but both of us got nothing it's on this. <laughs> Can Dude, you do it with one hand? It's hilarious that your sweatshirt looks like a cracked egg because yeah. it's all over oh, you. Oh, yeah. that's easy. Yeah, stupid. That's easy. All right, that's easy. Right, so, so that's huge, huh? but, all, but I cheated. You don't squeeze from the outside, you put. Watch, watch. Well, yeah, if you. Like this. Yeah, yeah, great. Oh, That's easy. Shame, okay. That's easy. Yeah, I did it in the easy way. You guys are stronger than me, man. It's amazing. Nah, you dude. got it. You got it. You Brad, got it. you got to break that egg. God damn it, dude. You got to break. You got to break that <laughs> egg, but like not on me. Brad. You have to point it down. Brad, huh? do yeah. you do you even lift, bro? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! That's all you had to say. Yeah. Yeah. All you had to say was, Brad, do you <laughs> even lift, bro? Look how high it's, it's a bubble. <laughs> It's That's a, been an episode of Flavor <laughs> 2. Okay, Bradley Martin, everybody. Make sure you check him out yes, everywhere. Sir. His three YouTube pages. You just type in a Bradley Martin, you see him. Oh, Anything else? Yes, talk to us. Mainly the Raw, the Raw Talk, my podcast. Yo, Most Raw important. Talk. I'll yes. be on Raw Talk next time I'm in LA. Yes, sir. 100%. But check out Raw Talk podcast. He has very funny podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, there's an episode I was about. You're a wild boy. You guys, you guys. How get Sugar Sean's episode as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah shout out to Sugar Sean. So check out that episode and a bunch of others. Go check them out on YouTube. Uh, we're going to get clean the fuck up. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for letting me. Love man. you, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, awesome. Hell yeah. Okay. Some of y'all are getting too high. You can't function. You can't focus. You need to get the perfect amount of high. And what's going to get you the perfect amount of high is diet smoke. That's what it is. Simple as this right here. They figured it out. They got the Delta 8. Do you know what Delta 8 is? It's simply a slightly less potent THC. Yeah, you can eat it with diet smoke and get the perfect amount of high so you can cruise through your day but still get shit done, okay? Diet smoke is legal in most states and it's non-prescription. Now, you're probably asking yourself, does diet smoke really get you high? Of course, the high you get with diet smoke is the best, okay? I'm telling you, we've all tried it on the pod. You're actually feeling, you're actually grooving. It's the first time Akash has actually gotten high, so diet smoke is gonna be the one for you. It's got the chillness of the CBD, but, and, and, and that classic stone feeling that you get with the regular weed. So diet smoke isn't light, is just right. Each gummy is infused with 10 milligrams of Delta HHC, and it's derived from the American-grown hemp, okay? Oh, and did I mention they're legal? Yeah, so go to dietsmoke.com and use the promo code FLAGRANT, and you're going to get 20% off your order. That's dietsmoke.com, promo code FLAGRANT, 20% off. Diet Smoke's Delta 8 THC gummies are not for use or sale to people under the age of 21, so please use responsibly. Now let's get back to the show. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Flagrant 2. It's your boy, Schultz. We've been inundated with DMs about a Down Syndrome Victoria's <sighs> Secret model. We get it. You want us to talk about it, so we will begin right now. Yeah. Her name is Sophia Giral, okay? <laughs> She's got super well, fat why'd tits. Why do you pronounce it like that way? I, that's how it's pronounced. No, I didn't it. pronounce it with her accent. You said it in a weird way. I, I said, I said, Hirao. <laughs> Hirao. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Hirao. What did you say I the first time? I said, Jirao. I said, Jirao. It could be Jirao. That's a Catalan name. 
I think she's that's Puerto, a Catalan. Yeah, day. but uh, her family's from those tits are from <laughs> Catalan. Those tits are from Catalan. I've okay. seen those fucking tits before. Those ah, are big old Catalonian tits. Those are Puerto Rican tits right there. Bro. No, 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 Al. Those some bongos, bro. You yeah, think that you got them shit. in your family? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> those tits look familiar yeah, to you, Al. Yeah, I was got a cousin. Yeah. <laughs> that might be related to this big titty bitch, bro. <laughs> now, now I think now people are saying right now she's got a deal with L'Oreal. And which is a makeup company. And then mm. she's got an also a deal with Victoria's Secret. And um, I think uh, she's lying. Okay. No, she's not lying. You can't. How, I don't think she has Down syndrome. You can't lie about Down Oh, syndrome. okay. Do, because I'm looking at her. And usually, I mean, you know what we've said in the past about how they're the cousins because they all have similar features. Yeah. I, I don't see any similar features. I mean, I haven't seen tits like this on a Down syndrome ever, right? Like. <laughs> Have you? I think I think her neck went into her tits. Like, I think, I, they might have just massaged that down or well, something. There's levels to it, right? Yeah, there's, there's, levels. there's levels. I mean, if you if it's you a, click it's on a, the spectrum, yeah. If, if you click on the bottom right picture, it's possible that it it might be a little bit more believe. It's a little bit more believable. Can we find one where she's sticking out her tongue? Then we'll know. Alex, <laughs> Alex, that's, now that's you're pornographic. Rude. Now you're, you're being, being pornographic. Oh, now I'm being you're pornographic. being pornographic right Bro. now. Hold on, so, we no. can't even talk. I know. But she's she's beautiful. Very beautiful. It's a heartwarming story. It is a very heartwarming story. <laughs> she's shredded. What? And she's got super fat, heavy tits. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. Like, yeah. <laughs> but do you believe that she actually is suffering from Down syndrome? I don't think she's suffering. I don't, Not that, at all. This doesn't yeah. look like anyone's suffering. Yeah. She looks like she's having a great time. She's on the beach. She's on the beach. Well, yeah. Puerto Rico is mostly beach. That's a good point. Yeah, 100%. Exactly. No, I don't, think she's, I don't think she's faking having Down syndrome. What do you think happened when they ran out of electricity in Puerto Rico? <laughs> What do you think happened? No, they did not put her on a wheel to power the city. Jesus, okay. Mark! <laughs> yeah, Mark. That's what, Mark, that is fucking geez. crazy. That's, that's what you were implying. That's, I was not implying that at all. She's absolutely shredded, and, and she's, you know, maybe she would, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> so why did you bring up the power? I didn't bring that up. I didn't say anything about fucking you just hamster said wheels. The power. You just said the I said power the power's not. How did she react? Did she react poorly to it? Was she excited? She was just sad. This whole country was devastated. The whole area was devastated by the hurricane. By the hurricane. That's yeah. true. That's Al? True. So she's probably sad. When you were calling your family down there to make sure that they were okay, <laughs> what you did regularly. There's no electricity, stupid. Yeah. Cell phones you don't call? run electricity, run on battery, you fucking nuts. <laughs> nah, but the fucking <laughs> towers need to be up. No. Yeah. Yeah. They, we don't give them towers. <laughs> what? <laughs> they don't have towers out there, okay? They got G. They got 3G. They got three, or four or 5G, okay? Fuck, you might be right about that one. God damn it. What about satellites? <laughs> you think of satellite phones? What yeah. are you talking about? Don't we have internet from satellites? Starlink. Elon Musk. Yeah, Elon Musk got Starlink. You think Puerto Ricans got Starlink? Bro? Of course, dude. One hundred percent. Put got down that picture bro. right now. Put Puerto, down, take yeah. that picture down right now. Wait, why? You can't focus. It's not. It's not that I can't focus. It, it's just crazy. Like that they would go with that one. I need to see the tongue. You need to see what? The tongue. What? If she why? sticks out her tongue, then we know it confirms it. I mean, she, first of all, she's twenty-five years old. I think that that's very important that that we acknowledge her. Twenty-two. She's in her twenties. Twenty-five. Yeah. Twenty-five. She's in her tw twenty-five. Yeah. And uh, say again, physically, she's physically 25. Yeah, that is another thing that we should talk about. If people with Down syndrome or are mentally um, retarded, okay, you can't say that word anymore. Yes, yeah, you can. Mentally retarded. Mentally retarded. <laughs> they suffer from mental retardation. I, I'm not calling them retard as a pejorative. I'm, I'm literally saying they're they slow down. They're younger than they are, <laughs> slow down. right? They're, and if that is the case, if they're younger, right? If their brains don't become 18 years old, if her brain is still like 13, is it wrong to put her in like a lingerie campaign? You're basically putting a 12 year old in a lingerie campaign. Mm -hmm. Victoria's Secret owned by Les Wexner. Oh, did he find a way to take advantage? Uh, and where is she from? An island. An island! Mm, exactly. She's yeah. a, oh my God, he found a way around the system. Technically, she's a teenager. She's a teenager up here. Yep. He got a teenager up here and he's sexualizing them. Yeah, that's Les like, Wexner. Yeah. But the other. The owner Vic of Victoria's Secret, the allegedly. Other, <laughs> the other Victoria. <laughs> we had to put allegedly every single time on the Netflix special <laughs> that they made us put allegedly on the screen, even though he definitely paid Epstein to fuck girls. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. Unbelievable, right? <laughs> Epstein you, has one client. The guy was paying him to fuck the girls. Do you remember going off on the lawyers about it? I was upset about that. <laughs> yeah. Why are you protecting this pedophile? <laughs> he was like, yeah. what? I but I'm really going, we have such good jokes about him. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want us to have to rewrite these jokes. <laughs>
She's hot. She's a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful girl. I don't know why so many people were DMing us that we have to talk about her. Whoa, oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> that was a good one. New York Post went with a good one. Yeah. She's built great. 22 years old. Dream come true is what she said. What is? She said it was a dream come true to become a Victoria's Secret model. She always wanted to be a Victoria's Secret model? Yeah, I think that's what she said. Really? Yeah, she said it was uh, like one of her dreams in life that finally came true. Cousins can dream? They do dream. Oh, okay. But I thought it's she usually about like fucking ball kit. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 oh, who is the retard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good discussion. We think that this girl is... That sounds so rude to call her like dumber, but like less intelligent than well, I guess us. statistically people with Down syndrome have like an lower IQ. IQ. Okay. And so they say due to that IQ range, they are operating on like a mental level that's lower than their actual age. Right. Is what people suggest. But she speaks two languages. I only speak one. You speak one. I speak one and a half. You speak one and a half. Yeah. We know Miles only speaks one. Okay. Yeah. American. Hell Dove yeah. speaks multiple. Yeah. I kind of speak one and a half now. I used to speak two. Now nah, we're about one and a half. Full two. You're, you're regressive. One point seven five. Okay. This girl is objectively smarter than us when it comes to languages. Can yes. we claim Down syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> can, can, we, can we claim? Like I'm seeing being serious now. If we lived in Europe where everybody speaks five languages, yeah. Are we retarded? Uh, can we call ourselves retarded? Can we identify as retarded? But then it's a pejorative. If you're meaning it as a pejorative, then yeah. I mean be. it as a description of our <laughs> mental ability. But I don't know. Everybody speaks five languages out there, <laughs> and we're just English all day, every day. You don't think they're looking at us like we're a little fucking thick neck? <laughs> you don't think we're walking around like that? Maybe, yeah. A little they might thick be neck? It. They might be thinking it. I think they are. But I don't think that makes you clinically have Down syndrome, though. What is, what is science? <laughs> What's the climate, dude? What is the climate, dude? Like, what, what is science? Nothing matters anymore. <laughs> yeah. We can identify however we want. Yes. If five languages is a norm in Europe, mm -hmm. I'm a fucking European retard. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So are you, yeah. Al. No, you're an American genius, but a European I'm retard. I'm an American genius. I speak 1.75 languages? Exactly. Yeah. I'm a Rhodes Scholar. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fucking Rhodes Scholar, yeah, dude. How do you spell road? R. <laughs> and then? Gets tricky over here, dude. <laughs> I think there's an H. Yeah. Okay, so what is happening in Russia and the Ukraine? Seems like they're still just at a standoff. Putin said that he was going to make an announcement today. Yeah. So it could be happening. And today is Monday. We're recording this. It could be happening while we're doing a podcast. Mm. So, Dove, you need to stay on that. It's looking like he is going to, and they use specific language, so I have to, I have to get this right here. He's going to um, not annex. <laughs> it was anthrax. Not anthrax. <laughs> Oh, um, fuck. Not exonerate. Thorax. Not thorax. No, there's a specific word that they used that was brilliant because it doesn't look like he's like taking these territories. There's two territories, right, that yeah. are in the Ukraine that look like they want to be part of Russia. Mm -hmm. And I think there's been war in this region since like 2014, mm. right? And he's going to, um, it was like reaccept. Uh, it, 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 there's a word I'm forgetting. Like what repatriate? is it? Repatriate? No, I'm just, repatriate. It's no. it's some word like this. Like we're not going in there yeah. and taking them. We're just gonna mm. borrow it. We're gonna allow them to be yeah. part of us as they wish. Yeah. Mm. And that they were supposed to be. They already were part of us. So we're just taking back what we're is We're just ours. taking it back. Yeah. yeah. We're just taking it back. It's quite interesting what's going on um, because Ukraine. You would think, since they are, I guess, one of our allies. Right. Mm -hmm. That we should go there and support. If a piece of the Ukraine wants to separate, we should still go and support and keep it, especially mm. given our history. I mean, America, we've had a history where pieces of America don't want to be part of America anymore. That's we true. fought whole wars to keep them. That's true. So we could probably understand if Ukraine wants to fight a war to keep them as well. And if they are our ally, we would have to support them. So now Russia is probably making a decision right now. Russia's going, let me see if everybody else is going to step in if we do repatriate these territories. Okay. Think about it. They already repatriated Crimea mm -hmm. and they repatriated them not because the people want it, because they needed access to Black Sea. Miles, we were trying. Jeez. We were o trying not to be fucking racial on this podcast. Was there another way that you could refer a sea of color, perhaps? Yeah. 
African American sea. The African American sea. <laughs> Joe Rogan's favorite sea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there another way that you could refer to it for the rest of the podcast, please, Miles? Yeah. Okay. So obviously they wanted access to the Black Sea. Yeah. Yeah. Now they look like they're taking a little bit more. And if we don't stop them right here, or someone doesn't stop them here, why wouldn't they just keep on taking more pieces? And why wouldn't they keep sowing dissent in those regions? Mm. I'm sure that they're spending millions and millions of ruples or whatever they have. Ruples? <laughs> yeah. I think ruples so. I think or whatever like, their money is. Mm. I'm sure they're spending millions of it to uh, organize these separatist groups within those countries so that they want to separate. Mm. I mean, it only benefits them. And they could keep on shaving off piece after piece after piece. Eventually, there's going to be more. And they're only going to be more emboldened if we don't do shit about it. But mm. technically, we don't have to do shit. Because they're, they're not in NATO. They're one of our allies, but they're not in NATO. So what are so, the rules <clears throat> with that? Like, if you're part of NATO, then, like, if somebody attacks you, they attack all of us. So if you're banging the set, we got your back. Exactly. If you're affiliated... Yeah, it's like... Like, you know, we could talk, we could do business, but... We might but give you some guns and shit like that, but... Handle your own business. Yeah, you gotta handle it. You either in or out. Yeah. So maybe that's on Ukraine. It's like, the fuck you waiting for? Yeah. You waiting for Russia to invade you to become part of NATO? Where was this energy two years ago? So, uh, they're acting too casual. They're acting like that shit is not gonna happen. They're yo, like, Russia's not gonna... They're not gonna do that. They kind of calling Russia pussy. They right are. <laughs> they really are. Though. Yo, it's like... And, and I'll be honest, I was in the Ukraine when... Um, Russia was taking Crimea. Mm. Like we were there, we did took a trip, mm. and so, and you did nothing. Son, I I didn't. Come on, man! You're just one of our allies, bro. Neutrality, bro. Yeah. You ain't no, neutral, we, we did play the piano, drunk at six a.m. in the Maidan. We in did the that. Little square. We in did solidarity. That. Um, in solidarity. What yeah. song did you play? We we uh, anthem. The anthem. Uh, right. <laughs> we did the, the Ukrainian, Ukrainian national anthem. anthem. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought it was a Russian yeah. one. No, 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 no. We supported Ukraine. We supported their businesses, okay. right? I believe you were paying for pussy. <laughs> Wait, that no, that true? was me. That, that was, was me. You? That oh, was me. Oh, that was okay. me. I paid uh, for pussy. Okay. Uh, and all my friends also paid That's for pussy. That's how you knew what rubles were. I, yes. Oh. And I <laughs> knew that you had to go to five different ATMs in the middle of the night to get enough rubles so you could pay for pussy. Oh, wait for <laughs> Yes. I so tindered I went a girl to five different and then ATMs. went to ATMs. fake... Uh, Zuma sushi restaurant. Yeah, you raped a girl. That's also true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you could word it however you want to word it, but that, that also did happen. That's that is true. Went, went to Zuma sushi or whatever the other way that we, the way we all understood it. Uh, uh, but so but yeah, jealous. so we helped their economy. Uh, we definitely helped their economy, um, and I think that that was very important for us because they needed money at that time. They're fighting a war, yeah, so we were true. going to nightclubs. We were doing a lot of stuff yep. out there. That being said, they were partying like it was 1999. Like the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They literally, yeah, they were partying like it was the end of the world. Maybe that's why the partying was happening. So people always point that out. They're like, man, look at Ukraine. Like, nothing's going on. They're all just hanging out. The buskers in the street. And I'm like, yeah, it's the last day of, of life ever. That's like, a great ass point. That's probably why. Mm. If like, you ah. knew this was your last day being Ukrainian, let her rip, baby. Yeah. You're about to be miserable and Russian. <laughs> right? You're about to be miserable in Russian well, in one more day. It? I'm curious about that. Significantly. Why? Remember when we went to Russia? Yeah, I do remember that. You remember that? Uh-huh. And um, do you know how that felt? <laughs> yeah. But that was because we were in Russia. But like if I was living in Florida and Russia took over Florida and I was Russian, but I was still at the beach, I'd be like, all right. Are you sure? Uh, no. <laughs> Have you seen them Russian girls that are in Florida? Yeah, it's great. Pretty Russian, though. What, what do you mean? I mean, they're not like happy and like telling jokes all the time. You know what I mean? I, I, they don't speak English. What does that have to do with happiness, Mark? <laughs> Mark, why would they Mark, tell jokes? Can you express happiness in why, other languages? Why would they tell jokes? Why not? Maybe they're telling jokes in Russian. <laughs> Maybe they're not that funny. Whoa, wow. dude! Wow. What, what's the funniest Russian joke you ever heard? Um, how do you get three Russians into uh, the Ukraine? <laughs> how? Huh? How? Uh, pay for them by going to five different ATMs and uh, <laughs> in the middle of the night in Kiev, oh. and then you have sex with uh, one of them, oh, okay. and then you fake orgasm the second time because you feel bad. You? Yeah, I faked a nut with a hooker. <laughs> Why? Well, I fucked her once, and then I couldn't run it back, but all my boys were running it back, so I felt guilty. <laughs> and I and I felt guilty, and I felt like this girl was was gonna feel unwanted. Wow. So I felt my hooker was gonna feel unwanted. Mm -hmm. So I took her to the room. I got a semi chub. I wrapped that fucking condom on it. Pound, pound, pound. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. How, how'd you fake that? I went. I, I looked like Sophia Giroud. <laughs> 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 I big nut. Oh, and Dios I, mio. Yeah, I really. <laughs> I hit an Dios mio, and then, but it was for her, dude. I didn't want her to lose self esteem. Oh. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because um, some of y'all are dozing off while you're playing video games, and uh, you're really throwing away your future. Okay, because I see you playing those video games, and you know what? You might be able to go pro one day if you could commit yourself to it, if you could dedicate yourself to it. And how are you gonna do that? Where are you going to get that extra boost of energy that you need? You're going to get it from gamer subs. And if you're not going to be a professional gamer, what you can get is one of these waifus. And you can just fill it with your own cum. Just beat off into it. And you can tie this thing off right at the top right there. It will, sem uh, it will separate the sperm from the seminal fluid. It's absolutely amazing. And you throw it right in the freezer and you make some lollipops. And then you can give them to uh, kids like that uh, one teacher in Missouri or wherever. Don't give them to kids. She did. She did. She made uh, cum muffins. Okay. Now, I, I don't think you should do that. But if you were to make cum muffins, you could use uh, your waifu and fill it up with your own cum. Or you could just put water in there to make sure that you're hydrated while you're gaming and throw some gamer subs in there as well and make a delicious beverage that's going to make you game to the best of your ability. Or who knows what else you could do with it. You could edit a special perhaps. Okay. We use gamer subs all the time. Gamer Subs is going to keep you focused, okay? Yeah, I can go through how healthy it is and all this other stuff. I can tell you how you could resell these waifus online. You could be making crazy money. I could tell you all these things. Or you could just go to Gamer Subs, that's G-A-M-E-R-S-U-P-P-S.com, and use the promo code FLAGRANT to receive free shipping on your first, uh, uh, on your already free sample, plus free shipping with any purchase, I'm going to read that again because that might be the worst writing in the history of the fucking universe. Whoever wrote that was definitely not on some gamer subs, you fucking idiot. Who's doing the copy? Retard? <laughs> okay. Go to gamersubs.com. Use the code flagrant to receive free shipping on your already free sample plus free shipping with any purchase. If you understand what that means, do it. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, but you should go do it right now. Use the code flagrant. There's going to be a discount and some free shit. Okay, there you go. Let's get back to the show. I didn't want her to lose self-esteem. All my friends were tagging out their, their, their hookers, their Ukrainian hookers. Tagging them out. Mm. And mine is just sitting right there like, are you going to tag me out? <laughs> do you really think she was thinking that or do you think she was happy? Because you, you pay one rate, right? It was one rate, yeah. And so she, you, yeah, she, it was one rate. So you don't have to do anything technically. She still gets paid. Yeah, but then her self esteem was just mm -hmm. plummeting, dude. Dude, her self esteem, dude, it was a fucking bear market, bro. It's a total bear market, dude. <laughs> dude, her self esteem was a total bear market, what dude. What do you mean her self esteem? That's honorable of you, bro. That's a thing. Yeah. Like, cause she can hear all her friends just getting torn to pieces in these <laughs> other rooms, right? <laughs> right. You remember it, Doug, right? I, yeah, I remember one of your buddies. Uh, one of the guy had the huge dicks. dick. Jesus. He had a huge dick with a curve on it, dude. From the horse's mouth, dude. From the horse's mouth, <laughs> dude. The guy's dick was massive, so he was just breaking this girl down in another room, and I my just girls, walk around the, the place, just yeah, which I would do probably. Absolutely, if you're built like that, yeah. you would do that. It was crazy, dude. Look like Kilbasa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, dude, we were in Ukraine. Like, and why didn't you? Why didn't you? I was on a date at Fake Zuma. No, he and wasn't. They went to brunch the next no, morning. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was with so us. you also paid for it, but just in a different way. Obviously. Yeah. Oh, okay. He transacts differently. Oh. He transacts differently. He knew what he was paying for. We were more direct. Okay. Yeah. That's what it was. But the point is, is this girl felt like incredibly insecure because she heard all of her hooker friends uh, getting smashed at smithereens in these other rooms. And she wasn't. And she was sitting on the couch and me and her were trying to interact. And I didn't have anything to go with. She didn't speak English. Right. This is a language she doesn't understand. What do you mean? What does that have to do with having pleasure and, and having fun? What I'm saying is that <laughs> by European standards, she was a retarded person. Okay, yeah, nice. yeah. By European standards. It was, it was two so European it was two retards. <laughs> yeah. Staring at one yeah. another. Okay? We were just moving our fingers and stuff, smiling awkwardly. Mm. And I and I said, I gotta do something before this this woman's self-esteem completely plummets. The first time the retard tongue is accurate. Like you need it in that I, situation. I, she needed it. Yeah. I needed it. Yeah. So I took her to the other room. I got my dick half hard. You don't think that hurts her self-esteem more? That it was half hard? Yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Why? She saw that pretty circumcised cock. <laughs> she did. She saw that pretty circumcised cock, dude. 
What do you mean? How is it pretty circumcised? It was pretty circumcised, not 100% circumcised. <laughs> My parents left a little bit more on. Wait, why? Because I'm from New York, dude. It's oh. 30 degrees in the winter. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I can't like be mock. like that Finnish skier, dude, <laughs> having his dick freeze in the middle of a race. Dude, you saw that? Yeah, that I saw that, dude. I related to that. <laughs> Wait, why? Uh, because sometimes when I don't tuck my head in in the winter, my shit gets cold and it almost gets frostbitten. <laughs> when I don't push my fucking head in. But into your body? I push my head into my foreskin in the winter. Yeah, oh. obviously. Long John Silver, they call but it. But not boy. a full foreskin, though. Yeah. No, I have I have semi-full foreskin. Okay. I have 20% less foreskin. Semicision. Yeah. Ukraine's yeah. circumcision rate is 2.3%. Uh, 2.3%. So she hasn't seen... One of those. She while. saw my shit, dude, mm -hmm. and her eyes lit up, bro. Her eyes lit up, dude. <laughs> Why did you research that just now? You just found out how many Jews are in it. fucking Ukraine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's all he did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah Loki, we saw a black Jew in the Ukraine. Really? Hasidic. Unbelievable. Yes. Wait, really? Unbelievable. Those curls must have been tight. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, how does that even work? I don't even understand. Is this a dread? <laughs> they, just had a dread. they just let it curl up. Oh, but yeah, cool. so I did that. And I think that, you know, obviously you have to be a great ambassador for your country when you travel. And that was yeah. the best that I could do. Mm. So how do we take that story and tie it back into this war that's impending? Because that's what the people want to hear about. Mm. They well, don't want to hear about how I saved a hooker's self-esteem. And Kiev. well, maybe you stopped the war because technically, when they annexed Crimea, reaccepted Crimea into their sovereign state, there was no bloodshed. Really, was there bloodshed? <laughs> <laughs> was there bloodshed? Why don't you read a goddamn article, Mark? Read, read, read an article, Read a bro. fucking article I didn't for read an once. Article. I didn't read well, an article. just press play on them. They'll talk the articles <laughs> to you. I don't speak Russian. You can get it in English, oh, dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did they, was there bloodshed when you were there? No, there was no bloodshed. Okay, good. Okay. So you stopped it in a way. Tears. I'm not talking about the prostitute. Oh, there I'm were tears. The war. She cried me a river. <laughs> <laughs> but you might have stopped it by being there. I think I might have, dude. Because word word got around town. Mm. <laughs> Word got around town uh, for what I did for her. It, it, it really did. Like uh, people were looking at me different the next day. Yeah, because nah. they, they knew you was fake nutting. They knew I fake nutted, and I tied the condom anyway, even though I fake nutted. Wow. To try to further convince her. You should have put the hot sauce. Say what? You should have put the hot sauce. I should have. I should have filled it with something. Yeah. I should have filled it with something. <laughs> she tried to take it home. <laughs> she did. She's like, can I have it? Can I have it? I said, for what? She's like, I like to take it for souvenir. <laughs> I like to take it for souvenir. She tied it to a stick, threw it over her shoulder, and just walked home. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yep. It was a mice and men, dude. That's mm. sweet, actually. It was a mice and men, dude. Yeah. So you might have to go back to the Ukraine in order to stop this war. I think, I think that's what you have to do. Say the word. I think that we should take a flagrant trip to the Ukraine mm -hmm. to put a stop to all this madness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that we could actually do something we need, about it. We need to talk to them. And if they don't want to talk, we can, yeah. we can take it's it It's not further. like their president isn't a comedian, Zelensky. Their, their president is actually a comedian. Yeah. Mm. So does he have any clips? Nope. <laughs> He's got no clips on that? Nope. Uh, not successful. He don't got no clips. Well, maybe he'll believe that you could be the answer like to really communicate with. I think we need to do this. I think we need to do this. Guys. Has he tried subtitling any clips at all? <laughs> I told you he's not a successful comedian. Okay. Okay. The guy does like Netflix specials and shit, <laughs> like loser stuff. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? He's probably on Comedy Central out oh, there. Oh, I understand. Okay. But yeah, you have yeah. to understand they're behind the times. Mm. Oh. He doesn't understand how to become a successful international superstar. Mm. Okay. Toronto, we'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, that's the international. Part. Yeah, yeah, international. Right. You see what I just said? We're going overseas. <laughs> We're going over lakes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. You there soon <laughs> but can we get back to this do you guys have any any points to make or yes. you just, just go make a fucking point thank god i, I read an article okay go right. what'd you read it what did it say i'm gonna enlist enlist in which army fuck i should have googled that i don't know which army i did enlist already but i don't know which army what a useless fucking soldier mark would yeah. be what why just overthinking soldier. everything <laughs> 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 are you sure i should shoot him <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. The wind, the, the wind might push the bullet two degrees to the left. And I'm gonna just shoot the babies. Just drop the fucking drone strike on the family, Mark. Okay. Stop thinking so much. Yeah. What would Obama do? Yeah. That's what you need to think. Uh. Press the button. Oh, is that why all the Russian brides come over here? Why? Because they can't get bombed in America. We don't bomb Russians, dude. We bomb brides, though. 
we do bomb brides. Yeah. <laughs> we do bomb brides. We do bomb brides. He's right. We're known we for that. And I feel like if you're a bride and you're like, oh, I don't want to risk it. Why would I chance it? I might as well just get married. Uh, also, why are they getting one. married all public? <laughs> like, you know how we do. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, when we had COVID was going crazy, we shut down gatherings. Mm-hmm. Right? Because mm-hmm. they were risky. Uh, a lot of our weddings got shut down because of COVID because you're like, yo, someone could die by coming to this wedding. Okay. Why are they still out there having weddings when uh, they know we're drone striking? You're saying zoom it in. Yo, have mm. a Zoom wedding uh, or something else. Mm. Just go have some fucking pita and hummus and then get married, but nobody <laughs> knows. And then wait till the reception. Put, well, maybe they did a deposit. Say again? They might have had a deposit. A deposit on a patch of sand, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Mark, do you think you need to put a pot uh, to pot? <laughs> Topanga? Do you think you need to put a Topanga? Do you think you need to put a deposit? Yeah, probably. Just on a dune, They're Mark? not in a dune. They have a venue. They're picking a dune. That's not true. They got some lake caves out there, though. Yeah. Do they? Yeah, they have they a venue. Some lake caves. Okay. They got married in a mosque, probably. Mark, you don't know that for a fact. I, mean, I saw it in an article. You did not. <laughs> you did, did not read an article. I read an, I article. read an article. I read an article that said they pick a patch of sand. Okay. And then they put up the Bedouin stuff, and then that's where they get married. Okay. Okay? All right. That's it. That's the wedding. There's no fucking Hilton. (laughs) Okay? There's no Hilton they're renting out to have the wedding that's getting uh, bombs with a drone strike. Okay. These weddings are often outdoors. That's. I don't know if that's true. Maybe it's true. I don't know. I haven't seen the guy article. reads nothing. I haven't seen any <laughs> the guy articles. reads nothing. I'm telling him what I've read. I'm not telling you my personal opinion. Uh, okay. My personal opinion is crazy. <laughs> this, this is what I've read. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So yeah. I'm trying to explain to you what I've read here, mm. and that's where they have the weddings. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So are you going to enlist or no? Or am no, I the only one I'm that's not. fighting? I'm not. Why would? But you I not? will support Ukraine. How? Through war. <laughs> 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 I'll go to war with them. <laughs> Wait, no, not with them. I wouldn't support them. I'll go to war with them alongside them. Oh, okay. And we'll fight Russia. Oh. Now, what if, let me just throw a hypothetical out here. What if America is trying to bait Russia into invading Ukraine? Oh. Uh, Why? So we can put crazy sh- sanctions on them and then take away Europe's oil and gas reliance on Russia and transfer that to the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, Aramco or whatever it is. Is that so, your opinion or is this an article? That I did not read at all. Okay. That is completely my opinion. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm just saying, what if they're trying to bait them in? Mm. Once they invade, right, invade and take away these, uh, what are they called again? Uh, disputed territories. What are they called? Um, the territories that are already are kind of trying to leave. There's a word that they've been looking for. There's two of them. I've never heard of that. Mm. There's, two, there's two territories that are in, there's two cities or whatever that are oh, in the Ukraine. parts that are trying to repatriate or whatever. Oh, yeah, d- separatists. Dinesk. Separatists. Yeah. separatists. So, yeah, so if they invade and they like uh, repatriate those separatist areas, we can go, that's it. Russia is invading the West. They're declaring war on the West. We can't support their economy at all. Sanctions. Hey, we're going to uh, remove oil reliance for Europe on Russia because right now Europe is incredibly reliant on Russia for mm. oil and we're maybe going to start I don't know creating some pipelines from the Middle East to Europe or we send it in them ships but we create that reliance on Saudi Arabia and who would want that more than Saudi Arabia uh, that's a big boy move right there no so if it's not America doing it, it might be Saudi Arabia doing it or us doing their bidding yeah. or we're all in this together because how does Saudi Arabia sell their oil and what Dollars. U.S. dollars, baby. Mm. So that just helps our potentially failing dollar. Oh. We need something to boost up the dollar. Hey, bait Russia into war. Putin wants to look like a big old alpha. Once he says he might do it, he can't go retract on TV. Mm. He's going to look like a pussy. The part that seems weird to me is that Biden keeps on leaking like information and like intelligence about Russia. About them doing what, though, right? Every day. It's it like, looks like they're going to yeah, do Putin's it. Putin's going to come in. Like Putin's going to invade. Putin's going whatever. So now if he go, go on this and point, then, I think well, we're going to say the same thing. Putin actually came out with something or like the Kremlin came out with something saying like, if you continue to exaggerate and claim that we're going to invade, it's going to be like... Uh, unfortunate circumstance or something like that, like something cryptic. Yeah. But basically, it, he said, like, stop 
saying that we're going to invade and like putting out this information. Because he doesn't want to look pussy. Mm -hmm. So if we say he's going to invade, now all his people are going, oh shit, we invading? Mm. And then he has to publicly address that he's not going to. Yeah. Saying you're not going to do something looks pussy. Mm. Just not doing it looks normal. So do they have troops at the border, though? I believe that they have had troops at the border for years. Mm. Now, I don't think that they have a battle battalion there, a battle-ready battalion or something. This is something I read. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so, and, and I think that that came from Ukrainian sources. So they've had troops over here because there's been issues in this part of the country forever. Uh, I think since back in 2014, especially with these two sections that have these like separatist uprisings that are being propped up by Russia, of course. Right. Right. So, of course, they're going to have troops there. But I don't know if it's like it's time to bang. Mm. Right. So maybe that's why Ukraine's not tripping. But low key, America is maybe like, yo, get them in there. We need the distraction. We'll rip Europe out of Russia in terms of oil dependence. Give that shit over to Saudi Arabia or these other Middle East countries that we uh, can kind of control. Right. Because we're partners with in this mm -hmm. whole deal. Maybe boost up the dollar a little bit. Maybe just do a favor for our friends over there. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's interesting. That's a, that's a, that's a good And theory. we just use Ukraine essentially as like a, a tool in this yeah. whole thing. Because uh, we don't really care what happens to Ukraine. So if they, don't we did care about, care, they don't care about Ukrainian self-esteem. I don't think they care about Ukrainian self-esteem. <laughs> not like we do. Uh -huh. Not like I did when I was there because I appreciate the Ukrainian people. Yeah. And I would do absolutely anything for them. Anything. Anything. Even fake bust a nut with a hooker <laughs> that had very, white areolas. Very patriotic. Wait, white? She had white. Bleached white areolas like church wafers. <laughs> Is that common? Do they bleach them? I think she bleached them. That's the only reason I paid for pussy. Oh. Also that and I wanted to come in someone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I did come in somebody the night before in the nightclub. That's in the club. In the club. I had sex with a girl in the club. Mm. That you paid for it? Nope. No. White area. She areola? probably was a hooker. Yeah. But your boy's nice. On the house. I'm sexy, dude. <laughs> dude when I'm kissing sexy and like breathing heavy and like uh, grabbing, dude. Yeah. So dude. you dined and dashed. Yo. <laughs> Wait, yeah, you might have had to pay that Yo, 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 you fuck up. Yeah, that's funny, bro. Don't pay, you died in debt. Yo, 100%. Yeah. I looted. Yo, you I looted. was looting, bro. Damn. Yeah. So you didn't Venmo her or nothing? Nothing. And she didn't hit nothing. you up? Say what? She didn't hit you up? Or no. Like no. No, one leg was shorter than the other. And I remember her kind of like chasing me down the end of the club <laughs> and like kind of like hobbling after me. She looked like a uh, Terry Shiva. No, Terry. What's the guy? Oh, Terry Cruz. Right. What, what's the guy's name? Terry Fox. No. <laughs> what's the guy? He, he's a hero, man. Yeah. I got yeah. so many people upset at me. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a Canadian hero. And we're hero. going to fucking Canada. Yeah, yeah, he's a hero. Jesus Christ. What about, what about Terry Shiva? She's also a hero. She was a hero. Yeah. yeah. What did still, she do? I mean... She's still a hero, I guess, in the proverbial sense. Why? Because she fought for her life. And? She ultimately lost, but she put up a good fight. Twice! What do you mean twice? Didn't they pull the plug? Yeah. So, that would be two? <laughs> okay, yeah, exactly. But she's a hero. <laughs> of all the Terrys, she's one of my favorites. Wait, what? <laughs> really? Yeah. Favorite Terry? <laughs> Probably. What's up with it, Terry? <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> hey, fuck with you, Terry. Hey, fuck with you, Terry. <laughs> yeah, that Terry's cool. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, I like that Terry. Love that video, bro. Yeah, Terry Shavo, uh, Terry Cruz. We need that kid at the Toronto show. Terry Shavo? No, oh. the little kid that did that. Oh yeah, he's is like he, a Toronto legend. Is he Canadian? He? Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, fuck with you, Terry. I think I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, um, shall we move on? Epstein's still in the news. Yeah, we're not mm. tired yet. Yeah, we're kind of tired. We are kind of tired. Because it's not really in the news. Yeah. That's isn't. the part that bugs me. Yeah. Is that like, it's it making headlines on like some newspapers, but like. Nobody really cares. I don't hear anyone talking about it. So Ooh, this guy, yeah. Jean-Luc Brunel, okay. was one of Epstein's pimps. So he was a French model agent that he would supply girls to Epstein. And like notorious creep, scumbag. rapist, scumbag. Like oh. he had like rape charges in the 80s. When, like, you were allowed to do it. When, yeah. Yeah, like, it was that bad. Bro, if wow. you raped in the 80s, bro, 
That's egregious. Yeah, I've seen Mad, Mad Men. Like, what's that show? Mad Men? You haven't seen it, Mark. I haven't seen you, it. You acted <laughs> like you saw it, but you read the Wikipedia page. No, I didn't. And no, I didn't. you just made up a no, title I for it. I clicked on Wikipedia and I had them read it to me. No. I did. <laughs> that was cute. No, I did. That was cute. <laughs> no, and so depending where this it. section goes in the episode, it might be funny or it might be completely Maybe confusing. They'll understand what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> but then they'll understand later. It'll pay yes, off. they yeah, will. Yeah. Yes, they will. But okay. Yeah. So no, I did. I did see that. And back in the day, you could just do whatever, whatever you want. Office politics was very strange. Yes, it was. And that's what, and he was getting caught up then. So that's how you know he's a monster. So if you were raping back then, then it was a hundred percent confirmed raping. Yeah. Okay. And you were just taking it too far. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? It seems like what you're trying to say is like you were allowed to rape. So he went like above and beyond with his rape. I guess any raping is wrong. Yeah. But at the time people looked at it different. Did that? He guess. That's, I mean, I wasn't there. <laughs> you weren't there. But do you need to be there to know if a rape is a rape, Mark? Yeah, I like, know that rape is a rape. Okay, I'm just making sure because yeah. it seems like you're a little bit uncertain yeah, right now as you fence. describe this. Yeah, what the do you fence mean? about yeah, rape, yeah. bro? No. Why are you on the fence, dude? What do you mean the fence? I think you should put your foot down, dude. Uh, okay, fine. Rape is bad. Good. Mm. No, bad. 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 Yes. Oh, that was good. You almost flipped it on me right there. I was saying you're good for believing that, oh, but then you made it look like I was saying rape is good. Well, you just said good. I, don't know I did say it, so, and yeah. I pointed so my I'm finger. Saying rape is good, bro. You guys need to chill out. You, right? you got to chill. We're caught in a triangle. <laughs> well, everybody's in a triangle right yeah. now, yeah. and we need to chill the fuck out. <laughs> Dude. Son. Uh, uh, everybody. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Don't do it. Bad. Don't. Rape is... is. Bad. 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 Okay. He's a piece of shit. Piece of shit. He was actually in jail this time for raping a minor. Yeah. And wow. you know what's really funny is rape of a minor above 15 is a the name of the charge in France. And it's just like, can't it just be raping a minor, France? <laughs> Why do we have to distinct? Like, but their age of consent is much lower. Oh, so yeah. like 15 might be legal because they're so fucking disgusting yeah. over there. So uh, it's like that is allowed. They're like, yeah, the age of consent is there. She's still a minor, I guess. Ah, uh, but you can't rape her anyway. But shouldn't they look at this law and be like, oh, maybe we should adjust some things? Yeah, I mean, when you're the attorney being like, well, how old was she? Yeah, yeah, like that's yeah, probably yeah, like yeah, when yeah, you should yeah, ask yeah. yourself. Well, she wasn't a minor. <laughs> <laughs> like if you even have to say that yeah, at yeah. about a 15 year old, yeah. I think that's a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Okay. So we have to work on the French judicial system. Yeah, a little gotta, bit. It's your people. We gotta, that is your people. we gotta invade France. All of a sudden now you ain't speaking French. Oh yeah. <laughs> now you're speaking English yeah, yeah, all no, of a sudden. I speak Quebecois, bro. Huh? Rapist? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. What did I do? Yeah, bro. Well, just because you speak French doesn't make you a rapist? It does too. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Try speaking absolutely it. Though. Try speaking it. What? Speak some French. See if it don't feel rapey a little bit, dude. Je m'appelle rapé. Or Mark. Whoa. 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 It just came out. Whoa. It just came out. OD. It just came out. No, I was OD, bro. <laughs> that was OD. Look how happy he is, too. What? Just, I know. He was saying it, man. <laughs> it was so fucking giddy. What? Cheeks bro. all red, dude. What? Relax, Somebody's going to fake kill you in a fucking prison uh -huh. cell, bro. What you better fake uh -huh. kill me. They're going to fake They're kill me. They're going to hang your ass, bro. Yeah. Why? Yeah. That's going to happen, bro. Mm -hmm. Why? Why would I be in a prison cell? Well, well anyway. Because <laughs> <No, I laughs> yeah. you love your it favorite so pastime, dude. Yeah, Maybe that's bro. why. Don't, don't put this on me. You got to chill out. You need to We're chill out. Can we stop move with on? That, stop with that French I don't shit. believe. No. Jesus Christ. He's getting horny, dude. I see his fucking pants rising. <laughs> oh, this is different, this. dude. We're not doing no, that. No, 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 no. We already said. We already said. Miles, can you make sure we start the episode with this? Okay. This is this is serious. Yeah. So he's in the prison. Yes. Okay. Mm. He's in the prison. Yeah. Hangs himself. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, they don't have the cameras on again. They happen to be off. Happen yeah. to be off. This is like his third suicide attempt. And he was supposed to be in a cell that doesn't have like, that has rounded corners. Okay. And has like terrible bed sheets and shit. Uh. And uh, for some reason he was wasn't in there. Still had a bed sheet that you could hang yourself with. Now. So here, here's my question. Does this make Epstein doing it to himself more believable? Hmm. I'll throw it out there. But like, and is maybe the the deal that's been given to an Epstein where it's based and this John Luke guy and, and anybody else involved is the deal essentially like, look, it's over. It's done. You're going to go to jail for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. If you want to do something about that, hmm. what we can do is just look the other way while you're in the cell alone. And there happens to be these sheets. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So instead of like someone went in there and like choked the shit out of him, 
they basically said, it's over, guys. Mm. But since you have so much incriminating evidence, what we're going to allow you to do is take your own life before you live the worst possible life ever in jail. Interesting. Crazy to say? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, not crazy. But then why not Ghislaine? That's the thing. Maybe they offered it to her and she's like, eh, eh. I ain't uh, doing it. And they're like, okay, bitch. Well. You'll see. You'll see. Mm. Apparently he was willing to work with prosecutors. Oh, shit. That was the other thing is that like he had made some type of like verbal commitment, like met with prosecutors once and was like, yeah, I'll, I'm down to cooperate. Allegedly. It's from one of the, an article that I made. Up. <sighs> okay. So here's another conversation. Does this happen so much that it just becomes normalized and then we basically live in Russia? Where like life goes on in Russia, like they play video games, they go out to nightclubs, they party, they have like pool tournaments, they go bowling with their friends, they just have regular. And then they find out that somebody talks some shit about Putin and then he just dies randomly. And then they're just like, oh yeah, kind of that's what happens. Yeah. Mm. But the reality is, is like talking about Putin isn't that important to many people's lives. Yeah. They're working at Domino's. They're doing delivery. They're mm-hmm. like, I don't need to fight back against Putin. Yeah. Right. Like what I need to do is just deliver these fucking pizzas so I can play pool with my boys on the weekend. Mm-hmm. I can watch the soccer game and do whatever the fuck I want. And I wonder if they just inundate us with all these like conspiratorial, you know, deaths and suicides that we just start going, oh, that's just kind of how life is. These yeah. people were involved with the government. These people did this fucked up shit and they get taken out when they do it. And instead of us being angry every single time, we just start going, I guess you're not, shouldn't get involved in that. Cause that's the fate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just what people are doing. Right. Like I've seen so many people that just like repost the story and they're just like, well, weird how this always happens. Yeah. They make t-shirts Yeah, thinking that they're like fighting a good fight, but no, they're not. They're actually, the t-shirt normalizes but what it. What is the fight though? What do you do? Yeah. If you don't know who the bad guys are, it's like, hard to. And, and if you don't have any reason to think that, like, like, I don't know who's going into French. Like, think about also, like, the global connectiveness that you have to have in order to do this. Like, Epstein's killed, where is he? Like, Brooklyn or something? Yep. Manhattan. So, like... Oh, no, Manhattan, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, you have to be in conjunction with, like, U.S. government, New York government. Someone has to go in and kill him. And then you also have to be in conjunction with, like, French officials, French government. This guy's in a different country in jail in Paris like mm. so it's like I don't even know who that person is it almost leads more credence to like you were saying before Epstein killing himself and like Jean-Luc killing himself or because the organization to pull this off would be ridiculous which maybe it's possible maybe they're all connected through this like pedophilia web which like I've heard people float the idea before but I'm yeah like, I don't know or, or maybe like you said they just let it happen it doesn't take that much organization to pull that off you just have to have some money and pay the right person yeah and and or connection and like um pay a couple guards to look the other way and boom yeah but that's gonna come back to you that's the know. thing about the conspiracy shit that like the easiest way to discredit the conspiracy is how do you keep this secret yeah right it's with every single one mm-hmm. it's like okay if 9-11 was an inside job like who's keeping the secret because mm-hmm. you need at least 10 people to organize this right mm-hmm. minimum mm-hmm. you need five people mm-hmm. two people but like this the, is maybe the secret's not kept though. Maybe like people, some people come out and say it, and then other people are like, "Oh, I'm not going to put my name on it," because if they're going to kill someone for being in jail for like procuring women for Epstein, yeah. If I blow the whistle on it and lead it implicates to me, the, the yeah. bigger person, because the only people who know about it are the people who are involved. So you either have to stand on it and put your name out there, then risk getting murked, mm. or risk getting called like a conspiracy theorist and like getting your whole career discredited, or you leak it anonymously and then it's just another conspiracy. So it's basically mutually assured destruction. You only bring people in that are responsible and, and they basically don't want people to know that they took down the towers or were a part of this pedophile ring or whatever. Or you bring people in that are like complicit or compromised in some way. Ah, okay. So it's like, if you don't do this, we're going to tell everybody what you did do. Yeah, or like if you're going to be in our network where we talk about like procuring women for Epstein yeah. and flying chicks around the world, yeah. like you have to be compromised in some way. Yo, if you want to be president or if you want to be some sort of like political figure, right, uh, do you do some fucked up shit on purpose and cover it up <laughs> to let the powers that be know that they can compromise you? <laughs> you just do it for them. Like you do it, like you basically do some foul shit, cover it up, and then it's like a wink. Uh, it's like, yo, this is what I did. Y'all don't even got to make me do it. I did it. You guys know. So you meet with someone and they're like, so you want to be president? You're like, hey, one step ahead of you, blackface. Already ki- <laughs> oh, Already did it. And they're like, you didn't have to do that. And they're like, well, I already did. So, And they're like, you don't have it on right now. And they're like, all right, well, I'll take it off. Whatever. Dude. <laughs> what would be the thing that you do if you want to be president? How would you compromise yourself? How would I compromise myself? Yeah. 
Whew, besides uh, a trip to Puerto Rico in the near future. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that would besides be, that, that would be uh, compromising. Yeah. Okay. Um, that no, that's be. a great question. I don't know. I guess it's got to be bad, right? It's got to be like compromise worthy. Death. Maybe kill a guy. Yeah, that could yeah. Be I'd, I'd probably be death. Yeah. Yeah. Just a random person. No, like somebody that was like a bad business deal or something like that. Because I would rather that. Obviously, I'm not gonna do anything to chicks. Um, and then what else is there? Like, I don't want to do anything like racist or hateful, but like people can justify killing someone. Oh. Like, I feel like murder is, is one of the most justifiable things. What about an embarrassing one? Like the Trump getting peed on type shit. Who's that embarrassing to? <laughs> Why is that embarrassing? Why do you yeah. find that embarrassing? Yeah. I mean, you know, cold rush is, it was refreshing after a freezing <laughs> yeah. day walking around to get hot piss, wow. yeah. hot Russian piss all over your body to yeah, warm you up. A point. I wonder if he fake nutted on her. Oh, oh 100%. 100%. Uh, 100%. Yeah, that's how New Yorkers do it, bro. Yo, <laughs> that's the, that's it's the boys. Uh. You think he was actually giving a nut up? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's no way. Nah. No, way. no way. You can't give the nut up abroad, yo. Mm. That's too risky. <laughs> That's too risky. You just gotta man. fake it every time. Oh yeah. Oh, Y'all nut know. abroad? Uh, I don't think I ever have no. Nah, you uh, never. I might have fucked up a couple. You times. nutted abroad? I might have fucked up a couple times. Did Epstein do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he probably had a. Brain. I don't want to be conspiracy theorist here. Yeah. yeah. Did the towers go down? <laughs> yeah. That's not a conspiracy. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm. Did the Holocaust happen? We know that happened. Oh, okay. That's not the conspiracy, dude. Conspiracy okay. is did JFK's head get turned into jelly in Dallas? <laughs> wow. Did it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. No, jam. Jam? Okay. Jam. I agree with Actually, you. Yeah. Preservatives, yeah. I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It might be preserved. It was more preservatives. Or marmalade, perhaps. <laughs> I think marmalade is actually more exact. <laughs> yeah. And did his wife try to put it back together all again? Mm. Like humpity dumpity. Oh, okay. <laughs> so maybe. Did, what's, what? what's the difference between jelly and jam? Say what? What's the difference between jelly and jam? Uh, you can't jam someone's brain back together? <laughs> 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 no, it's you can't jelly jelly. Jelly. Yeah. Fuck, Fuck it was so close. Damn. Oh, that would have been good. That would have been like good. The dunk contest, Is dude, that dude. what you were throwing up? Yeah. Oh, you can't jelly so it's very back together. Anyway, we understand that certain conspiracies are uh, actually real. Yeah. So there's a lot of people out here trying to say 9 11 didn't happen. It did. Yes. They're trying to say that JFK didn't get his blame blame blown out. <laughs> His didn't get his brain blown out. It, he did. Like I'm listening to a hard <laughs> he, did. he did get his brain blown out, guys. Yeah. And I know that you guys are conspiracy theorists. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is you're right. Okay. His fucking head. Oh, my God. Was Don't. wide open. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, it was. It's no, 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 no. Because you do a disrespect it's, it's to him and his family. It's literally President's oh, Day. Then we should talk about and it. You're being disrespectful it's on President's Day. We do a disrespect to him and his family to say that his head was not completely opened up. See, no, you, gotta, you gotta watch out. You got the JFK haircut, son. So yeah. you think it could be me next? It could be, yeah. And if it does happen to me, Al, don't let them lie. Well, speak, you, it, speak truth to power. Oh. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is people look at you, Mark, and they think that you're this lunatic because you believe in conspiracies. <laughs> no one thinks that. We yes. just, <laughs> yes, we just named does. five conspiracies that actually happened. Okay. The towers did go down. Yes. Regardless of what people say. Yes. Okay. JFK's head <laughs> did get turned into a cantaloupe. <laughs> right? <laughs> they, it did get turned into a cantaloupe. It was like seeing Gallagher live in 1998. It was. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I think there was a moment in the video where I looked to see if there was a giant um, mallet in the hands of his <laughs> oh wife. Oh, my God. Right? Bro, you often thought that, too. Yeah, and the people on the grass, you know, had ponchos. I they also that. did. They were yeah. like, oh, my God, we're getting the president and a Gallagher show at the same time. Yeah. What luck. Yeah. Right? They I were like, that. how lucky are we? Yes. Okay? That also. That's true. UFOs. What about them? We know for a fact we know for a fact that they need to upgrade the cameras on these planes <laughs> that the like, United States government has. That shit's so annoying. It is. Like cigar-shaped plane, UFO. It's like, bro, it's 2020. Mm. Get the video. Yo, just get the video. Take out your phone. You know you got your phone. Yeah. You're not on a mission. You know you on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Right? You're not shooting nothing down, right? It's not Top Gun. Uh -huh. mm. You got your phone out there. You You're describe scrolling. it better, too. Say that again. Describe it more. Like They're always just like, oh, it's cigar-shaped. But it's never like, oh, it has this license plate. It's got these lights on it. There's nothing. There's only just like the shape of it. Why that can't, is true. Why can't mm. they see it better? One time they, they described it as a thing that filled um, 
Fuck. Damn. <laughs> bro, damn. Bro, welcome to the dunk contest, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. Damn, thing that filled Monica Lewinsky's pussy oh. shaped was what I was going for, and uh, I just only thought of Hillary Clinton. It's the only person I could think of. That's another conspiracy. Wait, what? The Hillary Clinton doesn't You're exist? right about that. Wait, what? About Hillary Clinton having fatter tits than that Down syndrome <laughs> chick in Puerto Rico. She's the first lady. Say what? She's the first lady. Not well, anymore. She should be the first lady. <laughs> <laughs> what is that rock joke? Anyway, look, what I'm trying to say is you guys aren't crazy. Oh, thank you. And that you're justifying your beliefs. And don't let anybody push you in another way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? Black lives do matter. <laughs> That's not a conspiracy, <laughs> dude. Okay. They do. Yeah. It's mm. not a conspiracy. Mm. Okay? Mm. Thank you for... You got that from an article? Say again? You got that from an article? That one came from my heart. Mm. But Res people try to act like, they, you know, that's some conspiracy theory going mm. on. It's fucking... I didn't want to say it. What? I didn't want to say it. What? I didn't want to say it. What? 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 I think oh, I'm, I'm just a good old Florida boy. <laughs> Look at me. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this guy. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? 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 You think we'll notice if we keep doing this? Yeah, I don't know. What are we doing right now? Nah, I think Black Night at the Roxbury. Dude, so. Are we Night at the Roxbury or are we a fucking Victoria's Secret shoot in the near future? Guys, <laughs> <laughs> chill out. Miles, fucking chill the fuck out. Yeah. Okay, guys, we have to stop down. <laughs>